one one piece. Okay, let me see. I gotta change my things. That uh, was a good. We do have one. <laughs> Let's see. Looks like it's currently half off on Steam. The yeah, Opus Omnis is half off on Steam. How loud is Let me change the auto. Alright. We can also change oh create our graphics so sound. Graphics and change this up. Make sure medium into aliasing. A body. Okay. It looks. I don't like how blurred. That okay? That's me. Me. We just started, but uh, once. Hey, let me. Uh, Me is my own look, that's me! This is my own custom person. Uh, graphics. Here's... Uh, wallet. Oh, that looks better. Once that we're... We're getting the, uh... Okay, it looks a lot better now. And our computer isn't like running crazy hot. So we'll deal with this. Alright, so we are playing Road Trader. Um, we are... Victor Oro. We took a picture of our character from 14. Put it in, right? <clears throat> you can do a custom profile. Like a custom... Yeah, I guess press custom profile. And throw it in, right? Uh, we are... What's that about? Oh, okay. We are, I'm trying to see where our things are. Okay, so we are a officer type. That's our archetype, right? Officers use like their stats to improve with our allies, All right? So we're gonna, you know, as we the main character, one just makes sense, but two, we're gonna play the buff character, uh, not just through the officer class or the yeah, I guess classes which you would refer to the archetype as, but also through the sanctioned psyker origin, right? Ancient Psyker is effectively the wizard of the 40k universe, right? So, we are looking at uh, not just buffing our allies, but yelling at them. We're also looking to debuff enemies, as well as buff allies, sort of, with some magic, right? Uh, we can still kind of hold our own. Being a Psyker, we do have abilities to damage stuff. That's what we're doing. We are damaging enemies and buffing our allies. That is the, uh, that is the route we're taking. Um, we're going Telepath. Psyker has five different trees. I'm gonna go with Telepath, that is the primary one to debuff enemies while also doing damage. That's what we're going with. Um, with Telepath, we get Fortune. Or sorry, with the uh, Voidborn, we get Fortune. Uh, you can reroll any failed attack, dodge, parry, characteristic, or score test, a 20% chance of success. Uh, you know, just a 20% chance to succeed. Right? Why not? Extra chance. Uh, Grand of Shame gives us. Uh, a Red and Shame and Illustrious Glory, those are just uh, two things that have been our character's background that affected, uh, that affects one of our stats, but two, uh, it's just extra background, right? Um, aside from that, as a Telepath Psyker, we get like a Shriek. Yeah, it's just one of our attacks. Let's see about it. 
which is uh, right here. When you shoot within a 12 cell radius, he deals 1 to 9 damage to the target. And that's, uh, yeah, that's really about it. Uh, Archetype, though, we have Officer, right? That is what we're going with. We will likely go uh, Master Tactician. I don't know if we'll go Grand Strategist, uh, but it's possible. Or go Master Tactician. It is very possible we go Vanguard, depending on how our team works and how we kind of feel with it. So very likely we're going to go to Master Tactician. Um, we don't have any repetitions yet. We just started. And bio-wise, I... Let's see. I don't know if I'm going to go these, but I really like to go ahead, radical. Pushing into corruption and taint of the warp. The Kodos mission to the basest and darkest impulses. The soul or constant worship of the gods of the Immaterium. Um, well, it's possible. Um, Iconoclast. Belief in the value of human life and freedom. Faith in the power of goodwill. Capable of overcoming the horrors and dangers of the universe without the need for artificial prohibitions. A desire to seek out common ground, compromise, rather than uncompromising destruction. Unlikely, I don't think it's going to happen. And dogmatic. Belief in the holiness and infallibility of the laws of the Imperium. Adherence to the precepts of the God Emperor, the Holy Chosen Ones, carrying out his will to the ignorant, unruly masses. Unfettered hatred of the enemies of mankind, be they traitors, heretics, demons, or servants of chaos. Very unlikely to go dogmatic. As for this, I don't really know what this is. But uh, Puritans follow the doctrines and laws of the Imperium to the letter. They can compromise with Xenos or use the weapons of the enemies of humanity is anathema to them. Anyone who suggests otherwise they consider a heretic who deserves nothing but severe punishment. Very unlikely, probably fanatic. Now, radicals are willing to push the boundaries of what is permissible in the quest for tools and means to achieve their goals. They often use Xenos of and even creations of chaos for their own end. Many radicals are punished for their heretical acts or fall victim to their own dubious methods. But likely to go fanatic. I don't know if we'll go a radical. Yeah, we'll go iconic class, I guess. Fanatic or Arcana. That's very likely what we'll do, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Uh, our character has 6 movement points and 4 action points. I don't know how to upgrade these, but we'll figure it out. They will see. Oh yes, they all will see. So much of the game can be interact with in a special way. You can march with different icons. Some icons allow you to study objects. Others transfer the character. Add on the bit screen. Okay. Technocrat. Engine seer. Curiosity sings in my veins. I get a map, dude. Oh, there's no. Uh -oh. There's no. Like mini. Map. Okay, it is okay. Yes, we are a magic caster. That's what we do. Unrad Wigvir. This guy's kind of like our messenger. Not really our messenger, but he messaged One for us. One of the Fon Valencia's trophy rooms. Perhaps you would like to take a look around after your audience with the Lord Captain. Oh, yeah, that'll take it. Hurry. What's happening? No. Oh. Looking like we've got a uh, revolt going on. The have gone berserk. <laughs> they fight and then as they approach they finally tower. Oh, You've been ambushed, the battle begins. To survive in the grim darkness of our future, we'll have to face enemies of all kinds and fight for your life. These hints and trolls will familiarize you with the combat system of 40, uh, 40k rogue trader. One top screen to stop the battle. Elite. Ambush. Battle begins. Start the battle. Malfunctioning servitor. I'm only down here. We have 11 HP. What is that? Two. All battles in the game are turn based and take place on a grid. On their turn, a character move, attack, and use ability. Deal with the highlight here. Get it here to there. Movement points determine how far the character move on their turn. One movement point corresponds to one cell on the battlefield. Moving diagonally is more costly every second. Diagonal cell uses two mana or two movement points. Moving diagonally is more costly every second. Diagonal cell. Okay. Beginning of each turn, movement points are restored to maximum value. Note that once a character starts moving, action shall not be cancelled. Okay, so Luna. Uh. Hang on, why would I go closer? Does it need to be within 12 cells? 
Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten. He moves what? Six? Yeah, we're fine. Voice of command. Now who is yet to go? You go. Let's see. Even I won't do that. Okay. Well. I am powerless to act. I won't sully myself with that. I mean, I can't use it. And I didn't use it at all. I won't do that. Whatever. All right. How do I end my turn? Face. Oh my god, she missed. He missed too. This guy's gonna fuck him up. Yep. I one person I buffed. I thought I was buffing a Kunrad, but you know what? One, two, three, four, five. What's the range of that? What's the radius? Okay, I believe if you shoot anyone within half, you get the max benefit. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I am powerless to act. I won't sully myself with that. I can't. Oh my god. All right, go up there. See. Critical hits. Critical damage is 150 percent than normal damage. Well, certain talents, specs, abilities. Those on critical damage that add to the character's bonus set. All right, kill it, kill it, please! Oh my God, I'm gonna get hit! Oh, thank good. Damn, I would have died right there. What is the likelihood of hit? Seven to eleven. One to nine. Oh yeah, I just do this. Unless this is like guaranteed hit. I assume this is guaranteed hit. What suspiciously poor timing for such an accident. Servitors malfunction on the officer's deck at exactly the same moment when the rogue trader and their heirs are gathered here. I have blocked all passages between. All right, I'm just gonna let it keep going, let it let it run. Oh, we got guardsmen here. I'm afraid I must remain here. For Lady Theodora's safety, I have to oversee the execution of these orders personally. I hope you will have no difficulty reaching the observation platform on your own. It is just at the end of this corridor. In a loop. <laughs> nope, no loop. Our servant has had a soft moldering. I mean, cause motion. Just starting the motive for it. Lehman Rust Balloting. Okay, I was right. It was Lehman Rust Balloting. I don't, I don't know it, know it, but yeah, it's like, I recognize the Balloting. Claim to be restored by the grace of the God Emperor. First and breached the capital walls in the pacification of Vortes Catan. Catan? Eventually sent you again. Construction of the blessing that Adeptus Mechanic is using a standard template construct. Manufactorums of Kiawa Gamma. Yeah, I don't really care about the other ones. What? What does that do, though? Some of the pedestal is no doubt Saul. Oh, where's the stone? Oh, there, there is. Now they were. It's gone. There's nothing there. Lies beyond. In this tapestry of a world, I am the rogue threat. This is sim that is simply irrational, Lady Theodora. There's a man dressed in peculiar garb, his voice tight with tension. His face, half of which is covered by sin skin, is twisted in grimace of displeasure and disbelief. You see. Assimilation into the trade structure would be a political and economic suicide, practically an admission of heresy. Tall gray haired woman pins him with her gaze. Her seven egg eye flash from crimson, and suggests an alternative that will satisfy me. I've described the situation no worse than my Seneschal could have done. Make a decision. 
all you do with Ion 4. Ion 6, Edeltrand. Survey the room. Your first impression of Edeltrand, who appears to be about 30 years old, is a parchment like skin, stretched over a tightly bundled mass of sinew, implants, and bone. The nervously twitched, twitching fingers, the face twisted by logic, plate thick, and the jerky movements are all signs of some illness or defect that's taken over his physical form. In stark contrast to Edeltrand, Theodora von Valencius's features appear as if they were carved from marble, eternal and indestructible. Head raised high, proud posture, hands clasped casually behind her back. Everything seems to emphasize the difference in status between her and Edeltrad. And the two of them, you see two women. One is a gray-haired officer, of impeccable, yeah, impeccable bearing, who is studying the contents of a status link. The other, the behemoth, bristling his host, bristling with holsters and baldrics containing all manner of weapons. Our second candidate has joined us, driving a voice. And the powerful feeling of being watched before you look at Theodora. The rogue trader is looking straight at you, and her gaze, like herself, is predatory and oppressive. Speak to your own. Approach and give me your answer. Your character skills reflect the knowledge and capabilities. Some dialogues are not going to initiate as to skill tests. If such as see new information will be revealed or hidden dialogue after the month. Your character is traveling with allies, party member with highest score on the path. The applicable skill selected for each given pass to skill test. Thank you, wonderful. Consider this hypothetical situation. Aeon 6, a new world on the fringes of the Coronis Expanse. High seismic activity, regular magma eruptions, and some morphic rock deposits, prospects for large scale mining. The world is populated by natives who worship some heretical underworld spirits that protect those who offer them sacrifices. Flights of fancy, you might say, but attempts to install ore extractors have failed for the second time. The mining crews sent to the planet's surface simply vanished overnight. The question to you is. What would you do with this poisoned treasure? <laughs> Those spirits could well be the native's name for dangerous alien. I would first verify that this is indeed the case, and population of Aeon 6 engaged in the Xeno worship. Or lower warp. There are ways to confirm whether what is happening in Aeon 6 is witchcraft or not. It might cost several seconds to do so, but it'll give us the answer. What? I'm not. I'm not doing that. Lower Xenos. I would first verify that that is indeed the case. Population of Aeon 6 engages in Xeno worship. Theodore arches an eyebrow. Reasonable and imprudent. However, chasing after ethereal creatures may prove a rather long and fruitless endeavor. Inothrat scoffs. Apart from the Xenos, an untrodden planet might be teeming with myriad horrors that are far more dangerous and difficult to eradicate. I suspect that you, Rictor, are simply unaware of their existence. <laughs> uh, hmm. I give a straight answer to a simple question, which, as I understand, is still more than you could do, Needle Thread. The color drains Needle Thread's face, which distorts his features further. It's like the ignorant of start. How dare you? Needle <clears throat> Thread. Theodora's tone renders him silent. I believe I gave you an assignment on this ship. Explain to me then why my senior congregator is still dawdling about that officer's deck instead of proceeding to the middle decks to commence the inspection of the car apartments in his purview. I beg your forgiveness, Theodora. Your presence has such a profound effect on me that I well forgot the time. Edelthread bows ceremoniously and takes his leave without spark. Bearing you another look. As Edelthread's gaze falls as he leaves, he turns to you. So, Prickyoro, why are you here? Was it not you who sent for me? Edelthread scoffs. You have seeded the opening that was offered to you in a woeful display of meekness. Admittedly, this tendency is equally strong in all who toil in the Emperor's service. Immutably hierarchy. Or immutable hierarchy. Absolute obedience. Lix Blitter. Lix Bitterlery. Lix Bitlery. Compulsion to please. I value none of these things. The moment my envoys came for you, the terms of your existence changed. My name is Theodore von Valencius Massimo of Scarus. Afscarus. I am a rogue traitor in the service of the God Emperor of Humanity, and my rights and freedoms are vindicated by a most sacred relic. The Warrant of Trade. Cut aboard this very vessel. Mine is the honor to venture to the darkness beyond the Imperium and carry humanity's light, where powers wicked and heretical reign and bone death and ruin to us all. Warrant of Trade is a sacred relic document that affirms the preeminent rights of a rogue trader throughout the galaxy. It is my decision alone to determine the fate of whatever I find past the bounds of the explored void. Every world I discover, along with all there is to find therein, resources, people, riches, and mysteries, is mine by right. 
I command millions of lives, rule over numerous planets, and possess fortune that no planetary governor or commander could dream of amassing. And you, Rick Yoro, are one of those with the Von Valencia's blood in their veins and a rightful claim to this inheritance when the honor comes. Mono, you think there are others? Naturally, some have yet to arrive on board, but you have had the pleasure of meeting one of them. In other hand, it may be somewhat disconcerted by the scale of responsibilities that may potentially fall upon his shoulders. However, I have a good feeling about him as a candidate. Blood rate alone is not enough to earn the high honor of becoming the bearer of a warrant of him. Nonetheless, your abilities and talents may yet prove useful. If not for the role of Lord Captain, then for that of their closest ally. Yoro's eyes looks away principally for a brief moment. Alas, even those responsibilities can at times be too challenging for those who share your blood. Unrad worked with Veer served me for many years before he made his mistake. Did I hear you correctly? Master Whispers is related to you? His kinship is most distant as is your. Nonetheless, he does bear the name Von Valancius. Even if he avoids using it publicly, and as such, strictly speaking, can be considered my heir. That door, however, is closed to him. Wigtavir's performance on his current role is satisfactory, or it used to be at least. Now he's satisfied with the thread. In what sense is there in having this conversation? Are you wasting your time with me? Hero shakes her head. <laughs> Impatience. I'm rather fond of impatient people. They are not as quick to resign themselves to the circumstance, more eager to join initiative. Even if I do choose Edo Thread as my successor, I will still require loyal advisors. The skills and knowledge you acquired in your former life may prove invaluable here in the Cronus Expats. It says in your profile you bear the brand of sorcery, albeit a sanctioned sorcery that is permitted in the service of the Imperium. I am accustomed to the presence of Sagras at my side. More than that, I value their unique abilities highly. <coughs> Perhaps that is why I am so intrigued by Edeltrad's candidacy. A rogue trader Psyker could achieve great things indeed. However, Psyker is a fragile creature, and as such, I would rather have a replacement standing ready in the event that something happens to Edeltrad. Moreover, Theodora took it slightly, even changing your family name will not rid you of the fame you previously garnered. I hope I will also allow you to bring Lori, the Von Valencia's status, to which you now belong. I'm ready to take on the sacred purpose. Oh yes, you would be, wouldn't you? The question is, am I ready to choose you over the rest? You came aboard hours before the warp jump and have not yet distinguished yourself in any way. As things currently stand, I have no I have doubts you're suitable for the role of rogue trader. Uh uh. Thank you for clarifying. My answer question though. The box that fixed the Theodore's attire suddenly comes to life, but all you can hear is unintelligible noise. Theodore winces, cuts off transmission, and gives you an imperious nod. I'll have some time before the navigator gives a signal to initiate the voiceless translation out of the warp and my presence is required on the bridge. Excuse me. What are my current responsibilities? Observe, learn, absorb. It will take time for you to find your bearings upon this vessel and in your new position. Eventually, I will find a position that suits you as I did for Edothrad. Until that time comes, consider yourself my aid. Gracious Lord Cap, surely there are ways I can prove myself a worthy heir. You can start by not asking questions of this sort. I have no need for sycophants. I won't draw my conclusions when an opportunity to prove yourself arises. As for when you'll be granted the opportunity, only the God Emperor knows. An incident took place in the officer's deck. Some servitors went berserk and attacked the crew. Is that so? Perhaps the Technomats were careless during maintenance. Or it could be the warp playing tricks on us in spite of the Galar field. Or perhaps there's something to all the stories about the ship being possessed after all. <laughs> Adelbard. Sorry, Avalard. The great head officer gives the rogue trader a look of cautious with disapproval. Lady Theodora, for the god of his sake, surely you do not intend to start repeating idle rumors spread about by uneducated riffraff. Enough, Adelbar Abelard. Such hearsay amuses me. Adira eagerly retells me everything she learns from the whispers of her unseen advisors. This ship is thousands of years old. It has enough hidden nooks, malfunctioning cogitators, and unused compartments to make ignorant folk speak of spectres, dwelling inside the bulkheads and plotting against those who yet live. Now where is your ship headed? The Rykad system. Domain of Rogue Trader, Winter Scale, one of my peers, and the rivals. Only three Rogue Traders exist in the Chronos Expanse, and each of them possesses resources comparable to mine. Perhaps you want to assist House Von Valencius in surpassing both of them in affluence and splendor. I set the course for where I can on the demand. For a very specific reason. Perhaps I shall yet apprise you the purpose of this voyage. But now is not the time. 
I have no more questions. In that case, I shall head to Theodore's box awakens once more. This time we pick up shouting. Lord Captain freezes, listening to the box cast. Then nods and draws a weapon. Disturbance is reported on the adjacent decks. Then a shell, the need arises, protect the new blood. He glances at you. It is possible that the chance of proving your worth may present itself sooner than you may have anticipated. Ah, we've got borders. It has a boarding party, but uh, what else could be? All commands to act in turn, the order is determined by an initiative roll. Order of turns is displayed on the left side of the screen. From bottom, oh, okay, from bottom to top. The character at the very bottom goes first, and the one above them, and so on. Okay, yeah. You roll 205 HP, God! Okay, let's gather this. Yeah. Alright, we've got many enemies over here. We've got some over here. And, uh, not much of a way to go besides follow them. Eagle them. <laughs> that was like it. Drop down. Oh, we got a cleave. And then a charge. Wow. Okay, actually, economy. Fine. Who's more? God damn. 226 HP. Delta score. Area attack. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. Dodge. Hell yeah. <laughs> Use cover to avoid enemy attacks. Cover that a character can hide behind are marked with a shield or shield of the skull and then close to them. Character will automatically take up an advantageous position. In this case, the chance that any attacks will hit the cover and the care behind them increases. Care when I receive a bonus attack from his side, not protected by the current. Yes, oh no. Okay. Most of the enemies are on this side. All they'd have to do is move this way, but you know it's um right. So move here, actually. Yeah, it's the only place I can move. I'm still able to be shot from all the way over here. Holy yeah. Fine. Let's see. I guess I'll get shot. Whatever, it's... Half cover, right? No. Okay. Well, uh... Here to crawl it. What? One and nine, right? Let's get the first guy out here. Well, Woo! easy. Okay, well that's all my action. That's everything. So I end. Woo! Plus fifty ballistic skill. I am. Let me like you know dodge or something. Not ballistic. I have a second to hit. How's it? Half twenty one. Opportunity attack. Leave. I took care of this one. Oh man, I really need to get rid of the the slow on kill. As cinematic as it is, it's getting really annoying already. <laughs> oh, so quick. Now what's with the negative? Okay. The character has received temporary positive effect from an ally. Such effects enhance your character's abilities. Comment it. Number one effect gained. I, I checked earlier. 7-Eleven. Okay, well. Schemes within schemes. <laughs> oh, That's a nice right. But there are two. <laughs> Use me. Theodore waves her hand at a commanding gesture. What? We could team with you and clear a path to the transport line. You know that a single horse son survive. <laughs> Turns her eyes to you. Didn't bat an eye when that scum burst onto the deck. Hmm. Not so bad. I've seen many an officer who panicked at the sight of combat on the upper decks. The false sense of security offered by their position makes them that much more vulnerable to the harsh realities of warp travel. Uh, 
Let's see what the ravaging servitors may be connected to what's transpiring now. Possibly. Quite likely. Zero winces and flicks the switch on her box a few times. We'll investigate at a later time. Right now, we need to isolate the affected compartments and try to assess the situation. What are your orders? We start contact with you. Mort has gone on ahead to clear a path for us. You would make yourself useful and go after him and see if the Arch Militant requires aid. And to be quick about it. You gotta save game track again. What? I can't lose these. I can't loot these guys. No! Alright, which way do I go? Let's move it this way, right? Look my okay. I guess they are hurt. One step at a time amidst the madness. I just guess where Mort went. Like I thought I just thought his song was favorite. Like, oh yeah. Maybe okay. Ah, the Lord, our Lord of Whispers. Kunrad Voigtavir. Let's out a sigh of relief upon seeing you. Thank Providence you are alive and well. Always on time, eh, Kunrad? When we finish chasing the Rift Rapper on the deck, you show up. Always just after the fighting's done. You could set your chrono by it. Kunrad finally looks away from the Archmont to you. Mort, pull yourself together. <clears throat> what did the Lord Captain send you sh to shivy us along? Or what? The Lord Captain sent you to shivy us along? We're all done here. All four right away. Mort pulls his box from the belt and hurriedly pours the situation. Master Whispers, what is happening on my ship? The Vox net is silent, the Vox masters are responding. Armed assailants have stormed the officer's deck, and my arch militant just destroyed several more heretics on the way here. Is this a severe case of war for madness? Have some of my crew lost their minds and forgotten who they are and whom they serve? Port! I have not yet received word from the engineer regarding any Gellerfield failures. The communications were already unstable half an hour ago. Now they have ceased altogether. Whatever the case, the cause may be. As may be, the consequences are spreading fast. I'm receiving scattered reports from the middle decks. The only box cast from the lower bays are one way earth heretical gibberish. But the madmen have already reached the officer's deck suggests that this outrage was planned in advance. Perhaps this is an organized mutiny. Okay. Let's see. He is imprisoned. Mutiny. Who would attempt a mutiny here? In the warp. Lunatics, fools, and heretics. This ship houses thousands upon thousands of people. Pernicious thoughts and warp induced illusions could have tainted any one of them. It is a difficult notion to accept, but such risks are inescapable. First, we have to confirm that the bridge and the navigator's sanctum are secure. I have the means to do both things at once. Her eyes flash ominously. Edel Thread, where is he? I must know if he is unharmed. A stalker aboard a ship that is essentially being assailed by the warp could pose a greater threat to himself and others than a whole army of madmen with improvised weapons. I tried to locate him, but the last thing known about his movements is that he arrived in transitional deck 18. Blast it. Master whispers, find Edel Thread immediately. Then I shall locate Talanis and the sister of battle. Go to the terrain to my side. Art militant with me. I must go to my study. It appears we might encounter heretics along the way. Break? Your glasses that you thought. Yeah. yeah. If I may, Lord Captain, transitional deck 18 is at the heart of the disturbance, and if our goal is to bring Edeltrand back, I could use some support. After all, I'm not as adept at directly converting enemies to the house as he seemed arch militant, and taking into consideration Edeltrand's sacred power. And it's settled. Break to your own. Find Edel Thrad and bring him here. Whatever state you find him. This elevator he points at the massive doors. It leads to restricted compartments such as my personal chambers on the bridge. Do not let me down. I require you both. You understand? Uh, 
Whatever state does that <laughs> We're in the warp. Considering the attack, there could be a disruption in the Gallup field and the infiltration of relevant forces onto the decks. Psychers uh, can react to such things in the most unpredictable ways. Well, I'm a psyker. Enough. Massive whispers, you must not allow my heir to turn into a mindless mutant. I perish. They're on force of fire. Do whatever it takes to bring Edelard back to me. I shall do everything in my power. Not to everything in your power. You will do as I say. Have your heads be veiled. Is that clear? Move out. Mort. Come. What? Look, he's about to say something, but... Okay. The raid had 18. It is a long walk. I don't even have proper gear. Uh... <laughs> I should make do. Lead the way. Of course you will. We're just in a pocket for loving. Lady Theodore would never have someone you couldn't rely on as one of their heirs. But that is no longer relevant. The pop and sharp crackle, something hits you in the abdomen. Or you're consumed by unbearable gut wrenching pain. I knew it was this guy. It's like this guy's here. It's just we we're trying to, or they're trying to dispose of us in the first part. Hmm. 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 Sush. Sussy. I'm almost certain that she's on him, though. Almost certain. Anytime now. There we go. Did she pick me up? <laughs> careful, careful. Be gentle with our guest. She has an important mission to complete during our visit to the Warren Chamber, and for that, I need her breathing. Oh, you are back with us, I see. Delightful. Wait, Devere, you two faced scum. You're the one behind this mayhem. How possessed. I'll help you with the next insight. I need you here for your blood. You have the option to share it voluntarily, or I will squeeze it out of you myself. We are in the ante room of the Warren Chamber, this void ship's most hallowed vault. There, beyond those gates, lies the relic that gives Theodora all of her power. The sacred warrant of trade. Only one obstacle remains on my path to obtaining it. <laughs> the gates of the chamber are guarded by the sentinel. An ancient device that will only open the door to a true heir of the dynasty. I expected to do this part myself, but never mind. You will offer your blood to the sentinel. What is it, inbred? Your blood too thin for the sentinel? On the contrary. The Warp's blessing has raised me too much above your kind, Fawn Valencius. The Sentinel refused to submit to me. But you can help. After all, isn't that what family is for? What? What sorry pathetic excuse do you even have? You're a processing sordid wretched piece of grox shit. Wretched? <laughs> what do you know about wretchedness? Theodorus Kerr! Are you hoping to buy a grain of her indulgence with your blind loyalty? Oh, I know this delusion. But thank the gods it no longer has power over me. Humanity can rot. I no longer serve mortal kind. <laughs> Once my work is done, I'll make that pompous wretch Fon Valencius watch as I sacrifice her entire dynasty and commit their fate to the gods. And you will be the instrument by which I will accomplish this righteous act. I will say I do enjoy that uh, his voice echoes here. Uh, one of the available dialogue options requires making a skill test. Unlike ask tests, which are animated automatically, in this case you can decide whether or not you click the option. Consequences of which will depend on the results of the associated test. This are clearly depicts how the dialogue will develop, depending on the context. 
If I change the course of the conversation, alter your attitude, or foreign action, whose consequence will only become apparent later. However, your curse over the Alec option requires skill test, and you will see what to so hover over. Remember, after the skill's name, is difficulty to test. Once you start traveling with allies, partner number with a high score. Leave flashes in the dim uh, rough blood here on your palm. For a point, you feel nauseous. Your head is spinning, then quiet whispers begin to flood your mind. More and more sources' voices echo each other, turning out your own thoughts. Place them with a singular urge. Go to the gate. To the gate! Get out. I am not your puppet. Voices in your head giggle and mock your desperate outcry. You feel this intruding influence, forcing you onto your feet and making you take a step forward, the gates looming in, in center. Or looming in the center of your chamber. Of the chamber. Woo! 45. 80% chance. In the gateway arch, you see a cogitator with a human like human likeness built into the front panel. As you approach, the torso twitches slightly. This is a servitor, an obedient automaton created from a lobotomized human being. Fennel turns his head to you. One of his eyes sockets, lighting up with two ember-like irises. Examine that about. You carefully inspect the design of the gate cogitator. When really catches your eyes, a strange alloy that was used in material for the machine's components, which are unfamiliar to you. You expect it might be the kind of the archaeotech relic. The servitor from the gate begins to move. With the screeching and groaning of metal, it leans forward, closer to you. Lower jaw opens with a drawn out shriek, much wider than the jaw of a living human good. A servitor's mouth is filled with sharp metallic fangs, lit in the dim light. The vid screen to the right of your lights up, showing strings of mysterious symbols on a screen background. A whisper runs through your consciousness, insisting, demanding sacrifice. The voices that filled your head after a void to bear wounded you with his blade did not go away. On the contrary, their source code is a heightened knot somewhere if your mind. Uh, look right there, we use this weapon. Alright, they just a uh, weird examine. Look around and hope finding at least something that could work as a weapon. Your search is in vain. In your tent room is clearly empty. And in perfect working condition. An area broken panel or produced shooting piece of rebar rebar, right? Examine the sentence. No. Look back. Did you forget something? I suggest <laughs> you hurry. Place your hand in the central's maw. Zeno's jaw clasps around your hand, punching your skin and sinking into your flesh. A few dark drops fall into the servitor's throat, and immediately you hear a humming as the serv serv servo motors start up and pumps air. Pumps stir into motion. The screen the concentrator flickers. There were long minutes past setting those jaws. Okay. Um. There were long minutes past the sentinel's jaws remain closed, and you are beginning to feel sick. Perhaps if you were to lean against the gate, you could catch your breath. Even close your eyes, depending on what none this has ever happened. High levels of caustic humors. The subject is in a state of heightened stress. Do you require assistance? You don't understand where this quiet voice is coming from. Talking like static. Is it Sentinel, the cogitator? Is it a figment of your wary mind? Whatever it is, you can clearly hear every word. Now, uh, who is this? Genetic code identified. Child of House von Valencius. Do you require assistance? Uh, from the Sentinel's shoulders. Uh, yes, Sentinel. Trade your sentence to my life and the safety of the warren. Pain shoots through your head, subsides just as quickly. It would seem that the entity quoting your consciousness does not have the ability to do you any real harm. Request accepted. <laughs> Initiating defense protocol. Oh wow, okay, it actually worked. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Okay, she's gonna let us in. Take the war chamber. Patience, my nerves are frayed. Hey, this shit's huge. I just can't get sick. Look at this. 
Let it be known that by my will and by the true words of this document, I appoint this person to be the bearer of the war into trade. But so upon them, the, the paragraph of humanity, unbroken by diversity, walk bravely into the first and darkness, unite and reclaim what was lost. Time for nightmares untold, hold boldly the reins of fate, or death steadily throw the horns through pain to greatness. Escort the child of the house to safety. What man is happening here? Who are you and who addresses me? Temporary obnubilation following acute stress. Mobile unit of the Warren Sentinel standing by. Uh, I need a weapon. Are they defenseless? Distance from the current location to the nearest arsenal. Initiating situational calculations. <laughs> uh, are you the Warren Sentinel? Mobile unit of the Warren Sentinel designed as a personal escort of the child of the house and a means of communicating with the rogue trader's subjects. Mobile unit standing by. I need to contact someone. Perfectly Theodora. Voxcast frequencies disrupted. Initiating setup. Establishing connection. In place of mechanical screeching, server skulls, Vox projects the voice of Theodora. On Lancius, the sword and written static, yet still working as we aren't out. Vox master, restore communication with the navigator's sanctum. And try. I'm trying to contact the bridge. If anyone can hear me on this frequency, regroup all available forces and head to the upper decks at once. I repeat, I repeat, regroup all available forces and head. Communication protocols breached. Signal latency assessment unavailable. Take me away from here. Middle and upper decks. Assuming the probability of safe placement in areas of concentration of armed units. Calculating. To prevent unauthorized units from breaching the warrant chamber, preemptive sealing must be initiated. The mobile unit will start executing the received order immediately after the safety of the warrant is secured. The user I pulled, you will see in the top screen you the status of your current objective has been updated and the new information is entered. You just have to keep track of us. The contact session also contains. Yep. Basic stuff. Yep. Yeah, that's Curiosity. A lot of stuff to read. In my veins. Seal the Warren Chamber. We're not to my enemies of humanity. We're not to one of them can prevail over two servants of the Imperium. We're ready to give their lives for his anointed. Mistress? What? Whatever are you doing in the Warren Chamber? How did you... Throne, preserve me. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> Who's not to work the beer as a traitor? When we parted away in the officer's deck, he stunned me somehow and brought me here. Uh, intending to take revenge. Uh, he's clearly serving the unholy gods of the warp. Serving the gods of the warp. Kunrad is a heretic. Oh, oh void fear, you void rat. <sighs> Madness. And this mutiny is likewise his doing, no doubt. Void Devere openly admitted that he is the mastermind behind the mutiny. Saints. And it is small wonder that the heretics are so well organized. I thought his order to seal the passages between decks was his attempt to stop the attackers from spreading to other levels. But now I see the real reason. It was to stop the enforcers from intervening. <sighs> At least you are alive and now safe, mistress. Alas, I doubt we can afford to look for a compartment to sit out this disaster. Mm. You're in a bad way. Ooh, it's a revolver. I can treat your wounds. I have a Medicaid kit. And for the love of the throne, now is not a good time to be walking around the decks without means of self-defense. Here. Oh, but your character can lose some of their uh, wounds. Your character has suffered an injury after being attacked by Kunrad. This happens when a character receives damage receives out their maximum wounds in one round. And injuries reduce characters of resolve. Resolve fits this how efficiently and for long characters. Okay. Includes how efficiently and how long characters can fight in the battle. Determines the amount of momentum gained at the beginning of each turn, killing any. When the character initially suffers an injury, it is considered a fresh injury during the first few rounds. Once the rounds have passed, the fresh injury becomes an old injury. The fresh injury can be healed using med kit, not passing any skill test. Old injuries can be healed with med kit, or the character administering the treatment to pass a Medicaid skill test to succeed. These medicates to restore wounds and heal injuries. Though the character uses a lot of loses all the wounds to fall unconscious. Once combat is over, wounds of all party members are replenished automatically. Any injuries may have. Pain remain. Those me who had medical. 
Medics can only be used by characters who have the field medic feature. Base skill, Medicaid, or taking Medicaid skill mass at least once. You're required to use Medicaid in battle, Medicaid skill test determines the number of wounds that will be required as a result. Amulet can heal your character's injury. Look at your Amplus portrait, the Medicaid panel, and use it in your character. We are the spearhead of the Imperium. It's, okay, so clearly it's old injury. Doesn't kill them. He healed. Here's the medic. For six plus. Dedicated by my. Let's patch you up. Oh, take my transient gratitude. I don't think I. I don't think it healed my wounds. Today, we're gonna try again. This wound will make a fine scale. There we go. Okay. My appreciation. That is a noticeable improvement. Now you're prepared for the trials ahead. The lower decks are teeming with heretics instigating the rabble to revolt. But that is the least of our problems. The ship's enforcers are rounding up the scoundrels and suppressing the resistance. The situation on the middle decks is much worse. All those strike teams have already been dispatched there. All communication with the bridge and the engineering bay was lost. So, apart from scattered voxcasts, we have no information to go on. Continue. Sorry. But that is not the worst of it. All these jolts and shaking are most alarming. These are signs that the Navigator and the Master Helmsman are having difficulty translating the ship out of the wall and into real space. I fear that they may have already lost control. We must reach the Navigator's Sanctum and get a handle on the situation. If we can manage that, some of all this vessel may yet survive. The Navigator's Sanctum, very well. Do you lead the way? Absolutely. There they were. Words through the noise. You can hear yeah. two arms, loyal sons and daughters of the God Emperor. Fight the heresy and corruption that threatens to consume our home. With all your might, destroy those who have dared. The Lord Captain is calling her crew to battle, which means the Vox networks are set up for broadcast transmission, not message exchange. Splendid. While the rogue trader inspires proper resolve to fight in her subjects, you and I shall prove that her trust in us is well deserved. Onward. Surrender to the dark power. Oh, lovely. Two versus seven. Coming in the attack phase, in which characters cannot attack or take other actions, but may try to take up advantageous, advantageous positions. Here, for taking us, a left click, as the areas of the character. You have to play with each character in the party, maybe with the maximum. Have to save yourselves, yes, into an enemy. Let's see. Okay. So, if Abelard takes these guys, cutthroat, 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 yeah, so he'll take these guys, and I'll take, what's their movement? Sick. I don't really have much. So we'll just, uh, what's on the right side, we'll move left. Yeah. Oh. He's gonna get hurt by your burst shots at air attack. And the direction. Air attack. Air attack. Common abilities of characters differ depending on the archetype. The load abilities are located at the bottom. I can use ability. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's just pretty. Don't even worry about it. Burst. How many shots like that? Oh. Hmm. Was this cleave? Sure, why not? We'll try it. Feel like I'm large. Okay, well. 
I got some. <laughs> Avalard. Let's see. Get in that fight. And uh good luck. You companion is a warrior. Avalar specializes in melee combat and drawing the enemy's attacks. Charge is a unique warrior ability that works only when they are using a melee weapon. It's not considered an attack action. Use charge to close the distance between you and the enemy and deal damage. Look, click this button, but I got it. We'll attack them. Use it in direct pass charge and you can use action. Yeah. Those that charge can be used to characters two or more cells with charge. When using a melee weapon, melee attacks require that the character to be adjacent to the enemy. Make a melee attack. Left click, strike ability. Then, on the enemy you wish to attack. Unlike single shots, melee attacks hit automatically with no need for a re roll. Any will try to dodge and parry attack if they're using melee weapon on their own. Melee weapons can be used to make area attack. All creatures in the area will suffer damage unless they see a dodge test. Or parry test, they are on melee weapon. Damage dealt by melee weapons depends on the weapon's parameter. Attack restraints. Indeed. Like the Ooh. It will be done. Was it brace for impact? One round, navy's officer. Their allies do so. Reduce game plus two deflection for each artifact taken by the navy officer. At your back and call. Oh, one, two. Oh, ah, <laughs> uh, one second. Let's check. Uh, game. Let's see. Let's move in. If not there. Let me see, I wonder if there's a way to... Rogue Trader... Stop slow-mo. Oh, whatever. People, I don't know if, uh, didn't see that people are, have a uh, means of taking, taking it out. Okay, uh, I've always got anything else to do. Yeah, that's fine. Attack opportunity. Characters made the weapons and attack opportunity for opponent and Jason Bell initiates movement. Once triggered by its own abilities. All characters with made the weapons, including members of your party, can make attack opportunity. As hit, deal damage, calculate just like a normal attack. No! Okay, that needs to be fixed. How do I do this? Oh, okay, it doesn't move me. Interesting. I will do my duty. Alright, that's nice to know. That it does not move me. Here it just missed. Even I won't do that. Schemes within schemes. Okay, so reloading costs or reloading is an after type opportunity. Okay. You can advance level your character and companions. Failing in battles, exploring the current expanse, leading quests earns you experience points. Once you complete enough experience, your character gains a new level. Mm. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. Be standard stuff. Real. Ah, this one. Well, as a war car as a psyker. Almost fellowship characters. This character's business sense, the ability to make optimal party access new dialogue. Persuasion. Now what about persuasion access? Can I change it out? I see it. I guess I just move up.
How do I confirm? You know, Leo Lorca is good to play your uh, option. Where's complete? Okay. Yeah, I can. not. Okay. Persuasion. Avalar. Bill. Athletics. Considering uh, this guy's strength is a 40. Go with athletics. You go for Ruse. Or go with athletics. Alright. Lighting load. Move trophies almost out of the window. Okay. 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 Forward. Last. I like Ooh. My character may need to use a weapon. Pre prepared in advance. We were trying to. The problem was. How much not cost action? That's right. Let us seize the moment. <laughs> Ooh, weird. I'm at your service. Well, already. And he's got what? One. The two and one head. This galaxy. I know, like, I, I really should be giving a gun to Avalar, but, like, oh, fuck it. <laughs> now, here's the map of your void ship. This is several parts between which you travel. Some parts are not yet available. What time you care to be able to access? Oh, yeah. I, I can see effects of the warp. Huh, Adira. And so she will enter the halls of the blinded guide and witness the radiance of the final dawn through the cracks and fall victim to a whim of fate. Mistress, watch your head. <laughs> oh, okay, I like Adira, would it be too much to ask that you phrase your soothsayings plainly for once? That was too close. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, old man. The voices are so loud I can't even hear myself. They shriek, they sing, they... Oh, Abelard, how they sing. This is Idira Tlas, personal psyker and diviner of her ladyship Theodora von Falensis. <clears throat> I'm not drunk, old man. I'm suffering the effects of the warp that is seeping through these walls. I see the ship's fate. To die in the waves of the Immaterium, fall under the burning rays of the final dawn. And in the roaring blaze, I see a figure standing. Who is it? I have no answer. The entity in your consciousness shrieks and crawls in deeper. Falls scraping against the walls of your mind as if the presence is trying to hide from this seer standing before you. A diviner, are you? The voices from beyond the threshold whisper to me. Sometimes their murmurs are clear, they grant insight. Sometimes they drive me mad. But I am patient. I know how to listen <laughs> and discern. But now, with this clamor around me, too many voices. Too loud! And you, you, Vaughn Valancius, are a sorcerer too, <laughs> just like the other one. <clears throat> Lady Theodora must have grown so fond of psychers she wants one to replace her. Indeed. Here are a few clicks from the relays of the server school, which has followed you all the way here, and Theodora's scrambled words give way to a voice vaguely familiar to you. Officers frequency. Two only can hear me. Those with a weapon in their hands have to gather an officer's deck at once. I repeat, 
Gather on Alpha's deck at once and prepare to launch a counterattack. That little threat. Oh, Emperor's providence. The other rail lives as well. Quickly, we must head to. Not so fast, <laughs> old man. If we drown in the warp, Lady Theodora's heirs won't be any good to us. If Edelstrad's like me and hasn't yet surrendered his mind or body to the mercy of the warp, then he can still hold on a little longer without us. Blast it. You're right. First, we need to deal with what is happening here. What are you doing here? <laughs> the whispers called me. The ones I could make out among all the screams and screeches. Those who are rocking this boat hit us where it hurt. They went after the navigator, our guide through the warp. Other whispers called me to the engineerium, but it was too late. I heard the cry of our master Cog, and the silence that followed. What? You don't mean the engine say Prime is... Said, without a doubt. <laughs> and the voices wail, heralding countless nightmares, cackling at each soul among the hundreds that are now joining the warp. The shriek from the Navigator's sanctum was louder than the rest. <laughs> and it's better that we saved the Navigator than some lever puller from a cooling module <laughs> or cook from the middle decks. We see the Navigator as well then. Oh no. No, 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 no. Nothing is well about him. Can't you feel the chill crawling on your skin? The eyes watching you? The warp ice has already encased the bulkheads. What follows is calamity. <laughs> but we're not just going to stand here and take it, are we? <laughs> the state of things in here suggests there's a navigator around. Maybe <laughs> one who's crippled or at death's door, but still kicking. And since our skin hasn't peeled off our faces just yet, his third eye must be closed. At worst, it's a little roughed up. So what are we moping around for? Let's go protect that noble mutant while we're still alive. You do return your party, which now consists of several characters. Like one character, uh, I did it. Entire party is just back. My whispers crave entertainment. Ah, uh, after two hits, breaking lightning arc. Blue staff power level six gains the lightning arc ability. Lost. Either. I'd heard the other be unsanctioned psyker to use such stabs like this or uh, ability is also available in power attack, just measures partners, power level effects damage of this power. Yeah. Any heart, does it have a uh Alright. Is there a hot button that I can just Oh, we'll all one okay. The stars are my canvas. Ah, right, let's get the psyker on the on board. What lies beyond? Can I initiate combat like this? Here is a second and an operative. As an operative, she can study opponents and identify the weaknesses. Like ability to learn to do damage to them. And on these enemies, an operative ability which applies the equate effect to all enemies within the operative's line of sight. Out of the, each operative's turns. Operative can also use the ability against a specific enemy to inflict several stacks of this effect. Hyper operative's intelligence bonuses, or exploit stacks with inflicted. If the operative hits a target with an exploit applied to them, attack deals additional damage. Out of extra damage depends on the target's number of exploit stacks, operative's weakness is an operative ability to use the enemy to 
Not fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Here's armor special stat allows Psycho to unleash psychic powers against enemies. In the future, you encounter stabs that only a Psycho Burt in a certain discipline can use. For example, you might find a stat that lets a Psycho use Inferno. Reduce it, it's the first set of primacy that Psychic Flynn learned. Where? Is this foreboding? We'll do. Damn, chain lightning! What happened to me? Warp blast perils with a warp. Interesting. I anticipate that. Go, Avalard! You can use a hologram to gauge effectiveness of your intended actions in combat. Quick glass off button. Any sense of a cell in battlefield, test the character's hologram. You can build your single shot attack to get the effective outcome. Action will be displayed as if you use my hologram's location. They choose this whether you have picked and picked position for your action and take. Also, see the enemy will be within your line of sight. Our team would select the cell. Okay. Well, I know what I want. This is only shooting in bursts. It looks like I cannot shoot. Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot one gun at a time. I can't take the attack action twice. I still have action points. I still have action points. Dodge, okay. Easy, easy. Can I hit myself with this? It will be done. Okay, I do not. Thank goodness. Uh, that ends his turn. What do you do? Misfortune? Whatever is fine. 8 to 18. Fuck it. Chain lightning! <laughs> the creature in the chair appears as if it has become one with a throne. You see pink parchment like skin stretched between the seat and the limbs that have too many joints for a normal human being. The navigator is breathing heavily, the air whistling as it exits through the two dark gear like slits on his cheeks. Creature's eyes are shut. Ordinary eyes as well as the third one that sits in the center of his forehead. I believe Master B Vespiatus Vespiatus still lives. Avalor pinches the sight of fresh skin and dark marks face the creature. The servants are dead, but the chamber, I think the Emperor, is still sealed from the warp. Well, we have a chance of leaving this place alive. Uh, Hello. Uh, no. <laughs> I just said here, I was wrong with him. Here, Winces. Wounded. Exhausted. Fighting back as the endless horrors of the war that are forcing their way into his head. Big one. Now he just stares, barely able to lift his head and half open his normal eyes. Dark drop rolls from the under the closed little third iron. Then down his face, leaving behind a black trail. Your time is short. The voice is coming from the boxing grill at the base of the bizarre chair. It is unclear how the navigator is able to produce human speech. I'm sure to do what? And the Nyria's body starts thrashing in place, lurches forward, and falls back onto the seat. And thrusts forward again as his bones crack and his skin tears open. However, the fusion between the body and the chair appears to be stronger than these wild impetuses. Impetuses. He needs to remain seated, but leans as far forward as he can. His layered raiment slowly turning crimson. The gill slits burst open, forming two 
hideous screaming mouth like bits. Fall to your knees, mortal, and behold the final dawn. Oh, he came from beyond. His body is not his. Yeah, Dear scream is echoed by the silent cries in your head. The unseen creature triumphs at the sight of Navigator, succumbing to parasitisms of this corruption. This march thunders under the burden of hopes. Unseal your hearts, and I will pledge your souls in myriads of words and meanings, each one a portent of salvation within me. So. Navigator continues to compose uh, finally in his seat, tweaking and cackling, but then his fit stops abruptly. His face is drenched in black and crimson. Dark ooze from under his third eyelid has turned from a trickle into a stream mixed with the blood coming out of his nose and his purplish swelling around the eye. Run. Even this place while I still have strength. Words come out of the max of labor's battle. I can contain the intrusion, but not for long. He was again the translation. Leave the warp. It can't be done without the master helmsman's help. Uh. Every so I have barely so. What do you now? Sinatron gazes at the bridge in the chair. The ship can only begin the translation with the assistance of the Hastar helmsman. If he is still alive, it is worth a try. Once we get to the bridge, we will need support. Our only option is to fight our way to the officer's deck and join forces with Edel Thrad and his people. I believe we will also find Lady Theodora there. She must have heard the call to arms at the service school related to us earlier. This be others. Good luck. And uh, thank you. Oh! I didn't see it the last text. No? Ooh! Ah! Is that a beam? No, it's not a beam. All to the ordinary. Hi, I'm Nigma. Right back. I played it at like fucking okay, time. Like, I didn't play it. Two hand, dude. Three to two. English. Okay. Okay. Most known area ranged. Next, I have a chance to cause over penetration. When this happens, creature will also damage creatures and objects behind the same target. The damage targets beyond the first is usually lower. I see. Well enough. However, uh, I guess. I'm good for horror clear. Porsche. We gotta get everyone. Oh, there's more. Oh, okay. Oh. I thought I just got everyone. Oh, that's a deer. Yes. Did I mention? Sometimes. You consult the appropriate treaties. I have a different perspective. Officer's deck. I guess we can take. Yeah. Argus soaring loot that is not valuable enough for a mighty rogue. Loot moved from your load. I mean, 
Act with suitable cargo space. Any car full cargo you march to your rotation with her. Well inside that cargo will be lost. Okay. Uh, off Hey, Mr. Day is uh, the Game Awards, you know, the Game of the Year for that stuff. It uh, it happened earlier today. I watched a good portion of it. I didn't watch all of it. I watched a good portion of it. And uh, yeah, I guess I was a... Uh, I got a good portion of it right. About half right. Walk out of here, like, ah, that was just a cover. Your ship's as good as us. It's all over for you. I shall pity no enemies. I shall heed not their pleas. Somebody shoot me. I shall betray not your tenants, nor stray one step from them. Your gaze from me. Leave me not without your grace. I told you he would protect us. My God, my light, my emperor. A battle sister. The white haired warrior turns to face you, her hair dark eyes blazing. The open quivers in her hands and for a brief moment. She's not going to stop. Well, instead, he's eliminating every target she sees, starting with you. Sister Argenta. <laughs> Sister Argenta, it is a relief to see you. We require all the forces we can muster. Your face. It is unfamiliar. Who are you? Regior von Valencius. Lord Captain's heir. The yeah. hour is dark and daunting. The ship abounds with corruption. That's, that's the faces that's of friends who are twisted by sneers of heresy, <laughs> the eyes of comrades at night with the arch enemy's hunger. Well, I will do what well, I must so to halt the advance of the dark forces. But in these dark <laughs> times, <laughs> can't be trusted. Hey, so that's just, that's just like... Why are you here? <laughs> we uh, heard a call. Sister, I beg of you. Now is not the time for interrogations. <laughs> the ship is <laughs> by heretics. We've been betrayed <laughs> by our esteemed master of whispers. Edelstrad, the heir, is waiting for our aid, and Lord Captain Theodora is expecting a report on our success. We are here to deal with the situation, so I suggest we all do just that. Senator is right. There's a time for talk. Very well. We may leave it at that. For now. I cannot wait to rain righteous fire down upon each and every heretic. Uh, what is a warrior like Dipta Sororitas doing aboard a rogue trader's ship? Your orders serve the Ecclesiarchy, do they not? Sister Argenta is a guest of the Lord Captain. And that story deserves its own time and conversation. Under more appropriate circumstances. Enough idle chatter. I am where I must be, and that will suffice. Uh... Where are these people with you? Overseer of Middle Deck AL-84, my lady. We were rounding up everyone we could find in the attack compartments, but we ran into an ambush. Just about every enforcer fell. These are the survivors. What's happening after the deck? Massacre, my lady. And heretics are not just killing the crew. Some kind of blight is sweeping through the decks, filling the air. 
I saw people going mad the moment they breathed it in, screaming about their dead comrades, tearing out their eyes. I implore you, my lady, be on your guard. Always get to the main hall of the deck. Through this door, I shall join you, for it is my duty to the God Emperor to destroy this heresy. Argenta sounds like a late a summer or pass. For now, we will hold up any heresy. Oh, we might try to crawl in through the cracks to join the main assault. And we'll take a look at the generators while we're at it. Those villains made a mess of the cables. Oh, I wish we had a Texa map with us. But we'll see what we can do without one. Good to hear it. Sister? Ready. May Terra's light illuminate our path through fire and darkness. By the right of blood. Good. Oh. What? You've received a new, more efficient weapon for your character. Read your open the inventory. Okay. This is nice, but I get to have a learn. He's got a bolter. Oh, is that a mod? Okay. Open the door. That's a crazy statement, man. You look. Uh, you look. I can't go foul. In the shadows of the Imperium's <laughs> ignorance, my genie's blossoms. Oh, oh how they fear the brilliance like that eludes their narrow vision. Go! Oh. oh. Did you want to I will deliver furious retribution. Wait. Oh, that was that. What's that? That is not oh, my. It's here. It's Argenta was me. When I was my comrade. Actually, <laughs> Argenta does the side. Abelard, me. Abelard can take the front. Yes, <laughs> Chain lightning. I should. We're gonna make spray. What an unfortunate oh, turn of feet. You one every round? Yeah. We'll do. Just a warrior of the Adeptus of Rotas and a soldier. Expert with burst range weapons and Mine. weapons that deal damage in an area. Another projective strengths are mobility and combat. Running has a unique soldier ability. Using your as a soldier action movement points is the cost for next attack by one action point. Soldier will also suffer from the same penalty of ballistic skill for this attack. When again, also allows soldier to perform an additional attack with range weapons, which is a handy tool if you want to make more than one attack with them on the turn. Rebel and Slaughter is a soldier ability with the use points for each three enemy soldier kills in single battle. Each activation's ability increases the soldier's ballistic skill, critical chance, and great damage. Attacks can last up in combat. Certain test weapons let you make burst attacks. Following single shots, burst fire requires you to select friction rather than specific target. Burst attacks are particularly effective against clusters of enemies. When performing burst attacks, character fires several <laughs> test shots in different directions. Most yeah, speed shots are concentrated in the center of the magic cone. Therefore, the more enemies there are in the center of the area, the more than we do damage attacks test weapons. All shots fired it's, after burst on the less accurate average higher chances of staying meeting for the central trajectory. Be careful, burst fire shots can only yeah, stand in the direction of the attack. <laughs> and 
to be equal to six boost. Also, got additional three more to beat enemy that's either in fights or race around such a battle. They fire this turn. Now, his speed, <laughs> case cultist. <just. laughs> Soldier gains plus four boom points. Next attack cost. That count toward the attack limit per turn. To the end of this turn, or next turn. But I think, I think I'm going to get a burrito that the. Just, just shoot. Yeah. And we'll do ship one. Yeah, I'll be. How many shots I get? One, two, three, four. Like, like. I'll do it. I don't know. I'll play my game. Okay. Like, that big. Like this? It's like, 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 Oh, I love it. We've got more coming. Yeah, but you got like, four. Maybe I have long last rappers too. I think. That's it's not like regular ash or it's like the last okay. I'm holding circle. position here, there's no reason to run up to it. And it's like the whip, it's like the, it's like the big thing you get. Oh. But like, pick this up a finger. And maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit thicker. At your back and call. Oh, you parried. I don't know any question. I have my feather. Alright, we just hold down them. <laughs> Leak for what? Oh, it's uh, eight man, uh. Oh, two, two is for EFT? No, oh, for, uh. We choose Arena. Yes. And your game mode? The game mode there? Oh. Oh, I. I, I yeah, I mean, I guess. Give me, like, one minute. Let me finish fighting, I guess I can hop on. Not, well, we're not concerned. We're confirmed it. The eight first. Uh huh. Can't do six. Do four and eight. Okay, so you need a seven then. Yeah, before you. Okay. Yeah, no, but this first. What will I give? Destroy my heart. Can I move up there? That's 12. Oh. See, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Where's the range on this? Tense already is. Wait, no. Okay. This is. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so it does kind of show. I won't oh, you're too far. No way. That. In that case, then. What do you mean I can't use it again this turn? <laughs> A wicked thought. Yeah, well, we'll go with that. Oh, he got a hit, no way. He got all the buffs. Uh, you could have just not this grey as job. Uh, um. Yeah, what's up? Get a move up now. Well, Would that. you look at that? Right, don't. No. Was. Wait no, we just we just shout out. Him. Anything else? I'm gonna hit this guy. So I'm
And go. Uh, oh, it's a cooldown. Let her sit up front. Right. Or hopefully block for Adira. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna use it. Whatever. Oh shoot. Reload. And that's all we got. Down the heretic. Nice. Oh, Alright, whatever. Move here that way, right? Uh, Apple Arc can actually use us to move. Ooh, our, I mean, uh, you're popular, but like, nobody's trying to go to your house. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and our, uh, it's a hundred percent. Nope. 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 Wait, what? Maybe our gentleman move first. <laughs> I missed that from uh, Golders Gate. Put <laughs> here, so she has like good line of sight. Yeah. I know what it's to come. Put in chat. Oh, I didn't go through. I didn't go. We'll do. Hey, why should I go double tap? Can I go for multiple targets? I can't! Hell yeah. Where did you play? Like. That is not the Emperor's will. They're already locked in. They already know. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. Ooh, okay, let's say. Faith without deep. Momentum. I'll do it. There you go. Right. I will do my duty. Oh fuck no, bro. We in we in shark lobbies, man. We're in shark lobby. Come on. Alright, I did a don't die. <laughs> Where should I go? Where is this? Oh, I'm going to What? Even Why did I you build my I didn't even build my room, I forgot. Oh it's the woo! Let's see. Down, down at him. Damn, he's one. <laughs> if I could blow his body, oh, wait. Turn by. Bruh. 10 of 22? Holy shit. In the Empyrean. Well, well. Okay, let's see. Even if the warp power and abilities, there's always a chance of Empyrean beating to our reality. In fact, in combat, zero. The other is one pre use of minus six power, two pre use of major six power, and one each round. All the other is 14 or less minus six powers, and have a chance to get a second phenomenon. Mm -hmm. 
15 or higher. The weather right now? Nine? Okay. We're fine. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> Forty two percent chance. I guess we just take our cover here and <laughs> take our chance to Hey, let's go. A lot of loot. Um, what's where we just park? A melter charge will help. There's probably one around here somewhere. Open locked doors, clear rubble, course. He's fair to die. He's hit the wet. We're going to run you using melter charge. Let's go to the skill test. The door will be blown apart. Let me proceed. Need melted. No one wanted it. Open the door, logic. Oh shit. Bro, you sent me something. Open your door. It keeps me skill tests. Hmm. Hey, what's it? Another notch. I guess oh, yeah, it is already. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what about it? Oh. Who's not hit? Yeah, fire ball. Oh, we got, uh, oh, thank you. Delta charge, there we go. The stars are my canvas. And anarchy is my brush. Pretty sure. Oh my yeah, Argenta has the most. Answer. This is unacceptable. Okay, I don't. I don't need to. Like. Ah, uh, one step at a time, amidst the madness. There, done. It's all the power supply. Oh, I'm not going to. Oh, that was easy. Another notch. Don't worry about it, gang. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Ooh. What is Ooh. Oh, never mind. It's a body. What is this? Oh, a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Good. Sing more good. It's lit, but I can't track. Machine rights. <laughs> Heretic. Patience. My nerves are frayed. Uh -oh. Demolition. By the right of blood. Yeah. This is your level ups. Ah, okay, it's automatic. Also, maybe grants an ally an extra turn with action points equal to two and no movement points. Number change. 
That was an effective poison command. It kills an enemy before the end of the officer's turn. Ally gains a one additional one additional momentum. Oh. Villain. Like I can do. I don't like I get to it. Sure. Until the war's next turn, all incoming damage reduced by toughness bonus. More gains toughness bonus. Temporary wound. Oh, no, we don't get worse. By the way, close weakness. Offer removes all exploits from target. Increase the target's dodge, parry, and armor. Let's start with the next turn. Bro, by 10 plus exploit stacks times reception bonus. Reception was 45, so 4. So, a. Like 18. Very good. Oh. Demolition. Oh. Everyone is off. Meaning moves to the this end of combat. Put your hand on the bonuses. Put some bullet like fuel. And good damage. Like right I used to like right here. Good chance. It's a 5% good ever. chance. But he comes to be able to push the enemy. Your counter is not reset. Green round. Right. I recall. I'm talking about that. Curiosity sings in my veins. Yeah. We're trying to open the door. Oh, genius triumphs. Let us seize the moment. Oh, what lies beyond? Because I said, like, if the bridge breaks beneath us. <laughs> Okay, I guess it is going to break beneath us. Uh. He just walks through fire. <laughs> the roar of the flames rings in your ears, and the choking smoke makes you cough and gasp for air. You instinctively recoil from the scorching heat, wiping your face. Along with the laser, a hazy silhouette forms on the raging wall of fire. You're surrounded by ear spitting noise and screaming, uh. yet you distinctly hear the sound of footsteps. And then you see the figure walk out of the fire towards you. It is Theodora von Valencius. Her expression is calm. They're finally so for someone whose body is engulfed in an inferno. One of her hands is resting the hilt of a power sword. The other is raised in an inviting gesture. Oh, you lost my air. Uh... I just to go still as a statue. Clever is open. An apparition. A sorceress apparition. Trickery of the warp. I have it, yeah. Sister, you will lower your weapon. By his commanding tone, Avril does not sound so confident. He is saying the road trader, and you notice the muscle on his cheek twitching. Threatening the Lord Captain is outrageous. How did you get here? I'm a rogue trader, prick. I am wherever my will right. demands me to be. Would you prefer to be elsewhere this time? Indubitably. Oh. But are you ready? Oh my god. Here you without blinking. Your snake like gaze almost makes you forget about the fire sitting behind you, leaving burns in your skin. I can lead you out to these flames, prick. Show you a path. Lead you a pain. And queue up so that you may defeat your enemies. Decide. Your mouth begins to accelerate. Each word Theodora speaks is like music to your oh, ears. Yet to take that now as well as into the recesses of your mind is pleading, begging, demanding you give an immediate answer. And that answer can be nothing other than acceptance. Do not listen to this abomination. Break. If you. If there is not but his light in your heart, if you are resolute in your faith, and step into the flames. The Emperor protects. His faith will not be deterred by either darkness or deceitful promises. Nor will the fire burn those who carry the torch of faith in their soul. To the point with you, we need to follow oh, Lady Theodora before we suffocate in this furnace. The people! Ever looks back at the coughing, confused people around you. Break. The survivors in the middle decks. You must help the crew. Lead them out. Find a way around. Over the roaring flames, you hear distant sound. Frightened voices, screams, muffled and distorted as though there was a body of water beneath 
between you and them. Uh, this character would have to make tough decisions based on their values, interests, and the goals. Such decisions affect their conviction. You can develop either direction, dogmatic, iconoclast, heretical. Each includes five ranks. The higher the rank, the more zealously the character follows their convictions, the more noticeably the world around them reacts to their actions and decisions. Motion to the ranks of each of these three directions opens up a new dialogue line, events, unique abilities, and also changes the attitudes of other sorts of characters. Also, small as well, you quit by characters with certain permissions. And one of the conviction branches reaches rank three, Votary. It becomes the character's main focus. When that happens, other commission branches cannot be raised above adherent. Here's eyes, which is their own as well. Got it. And when we saw a chance to meet with the adherent breaks off, that's not from Bradley. Her knees buckle when she looks to see she's about to fall. Like, what are we waiting for? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Get a few off the bridge. I'll not leave my people in harm's way. You look away and the illusion breaks. Unbearable heat instantly makes your skin burn. The voice of the people behind the, sh around the shroud of smoke and grow stronger. And hopeful. Once you and your companions rush back, barking orders and gunning survivors. In your determination, you clearly forgot about Theodoro. You turn your head, you nothing but a bellowing fire. We will go around. They will see. Where did she eat? Go. That was standing in front of us in the fire? I could have sworn. That's a platform. To the same me today. <laughs> Just casually destroying your, uh, your ship. Get across. Too late! We are too late! Or perhaps Edelthrad and his escort never made it here. Which would be even worse. Oh, yeah, I want a Oh, what? Okay. Or they could be fighting on the bridge as we speak, without us. Ah, uh, does that work? My lady, I beg your pardon for interrupting. <laughs> for asking for orders, you came back to save us. So now I, mean, I, I want to follow you through thick and thin to the bridge. I'm not, uh, I guess I looked far away. Then he requires immediate assistance. I say there is one thing that I find most troubling. The Lord Captain's Vox casts. They are still coming in, even though it would make sense for Lady Theodora to be on the bridge right now, at the head of the counter assault. I feel uneasy. What if the Lord Captain is besieged in her own chambers? With your permission, I suggest that we confirm for ourselves that she is not. We can use the same elevator that Lady Theodora and Mort headed for earlier. I'm sorry if we get the goods here. <laughs> ah, one step at a time amidst the madness. Right, this is where we are. This is where we got shanked. So this should be this door. Yes! Yeah. Oh, the bottom. Never forget the, the <laughs> item here. Hey, but we went last. But we went last. Obey. Ooh, what a... Oh, a tantalizing anomaly. Hey, what do we see? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's stuff here. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look, my brother in the background. He's being loud as always. One day I'll get a, uh, a stream where. Oh, what? Looks manic. Gone. Is it plus three to logic? 
I don't wear it for now. I'm actually listening, oh I guess. My God. Who has the most logic? Yeah, I guess me for now. In this tapestry of a world, I am the rogue thread. <gasps> there it is, this way. Lord Captain's Quarters. Are we banning? You can banning it loudly, bro. I'm scared of it loudly. Wait, Alawi? It's oh. just two v two. What are you doing, Benny Alawi? <laughs> <laughs> at least in like the five v five battles, or at least in like arena blitz, that makes sense. But it's just two v two. Oh, that's uh, Master Mort. Excuse me, that's the Eudora. On Valencius. With 200 HP. Light. But I, that can only be equipped by the characters of a certain conviction rank. The. I don't even know. Oh, my nerves are frayed. That was a lot of math. <laughs> Goods, Master Mort. Woo! Dogmatic follower. I want to vote to protect your dogmatic follower. Progress where community critical hits for the first two rounds of combat. Wow! Who is dogmatic? I don't even tell. Okay, he goes to Argenta. I want it the devoted protector. Never seen looks like Theodore von Valancis's body is sprawled on the large blood drenched desk. The arch militant's corpse still clutching a weapon slumped against one of the bulkheads. Emperor. Oh, Captain, <laughs> I didn't hear, didn't hear a thing, not a whisper, not a breath, it was, it was so loud, why didn't I foresee this? It's so weird seeing this pop up, but then it cuts. Captain, <laughs> who would even dare? Unless that rat void fear. I doubt it. Void beer with humiliation and suffering upon Theodora. Not a swift death. It could have happened in the heat of battle. Not oh, yeah. that Mort was here. And he would have protected Lady Theodora to the last. How could Mort have failed her so terribly? The <laughs> Arch Militant was born on a death world. He had lightning fast reflexes. <laughs> I, I can look at things in my own way. If you find something, something that might bear the imprint of the killer, just give it to me, what? and I'll try to see what secrets it holds. Examine Theodora's body. I must go there, Rose. First, lean close to the body. The cause of death is apparent. What ended the rotator's life was an auto pistol shot, a short, nearly accurate one at that. Theodora's face bears an expression of surprise. The last motion she experienced in life. Nothing on the floor catches your eye. Even with blood splattered parchments and scrolls must have fallen off the desk. As he down for a closer look, he knows something else. Small shots of glass scattered on the floor. Hmm. Did you ever try touching Theodora? I might be able to see the killer through her eyes. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. I can try to read the memories of objects, but dead bodies are a different story. 
Something like that would require her soul. And after what we saw on the officer's deck, I won't risk searching for it in the warp. Dear, what are you trying to tell you? Yes, I see streaks yeah. of color, yeah. luminescence, blue lights, faces drawing closer. Lady Theodora and Kunrad and Oh, what is oh, that? oh. <laughs> That's right. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. That's for sure. Tainted witchcraft. Yeah, inspect the papers. Yeah, I got it. And a letter with a seal. Yeah. Examine the Archonter's body. Oh, I. I think I. Yeah. Whatever. Um. All of his shots went straight through Mort's forehead, draining the floor and furniture around blood, brain bound and shards of the skull. <laughs> Safety and the Arch Mountain's weapons off. Well, this has been a split second of greater than he. Take <laughs> the shards by the desk. It is difficult to say what exactly was broken. Object found on the floor, and that is much you can ascertain. Upon closer examination, the shards appear iridescent rather than completely transparent. The demon is submerged in Prometheum. Round turn from a combustible fuel in the Imperium of Man. Yes, the crucible of battle. Calls to me once more. No, wait. We must see if we can find anything. Idira, you can't bring her back. Let her go. You'd give up so easily, old man. I expected as much from your <laughs> sister. <laughs> it feels like she has a heart, but you? Yeah. Oh no. I'll get to the bottom of this. I'll find the one responsible for murdering the Lord Captain. And when I do, that's Scum will regret the day they were born. Did we lose it, Hero? We don't think it's Alright, just keep running, bro. Theodore's Rosary. Right. Where are the scandal gains plus some bonus commerce in the lower imperium? Yes, I do. Bro, what? I didn't even hear it. Ooh. That's I mean two star radius. <laughs> oh what? There will be no peace in my wake. <laughs> okay. uh, elevators used. What is that? Is that Don't you dare to cross us. Okay. Search. Let's see who goes first. Oh, we all go first. Thank goodness. Actually, we'll put a... Good. Damn, it kinda sucks. He's gonna be in a... I need to wait. Okay. Light medium armor. Armor protects the character from incoming damage. Light medium armor types up both bat ability at the moment. Armor that indicates what percent of incoming damage enemy attack it can absorb. Every armor also places the chances that the character wearing it oh. passes dodged or dodge penalty oh, or against dodge enemy attack. The character in light armor dodges attack more often, takes no. more damage from hit. The armor absorbs more damage the character is hit, because it's ability to dodge attacks. Sometimes like characters use different types of armor more effectively. Easy. At your back and call. Hmm. Adira. Dane Lightning! Go! 
All right, please end there. Yeah. Just let him out. Oh no. Apparel is the warp is getting higher. Got enemies with various abilities and features. I got a nice enemy's portrait in case they're under the boots. In effect. Yeah. Oh my god, you're yeah. As the Emperor commands, I act. I refuse. <laughs> Doubt is for the weak. Hey, let's go. I'll do it. Where is that? Boom. Okay, that's all I can do. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Put some respect on my name. Put some respect on my name. <laughs> yeah, let's see. I think it's this. This. <laughs> next time? Next time, there will never be a next time. We'll do. Analyze. Anything else? Break him. Now light back. Oh, not <laughs> enough damage. Who's he gonna shoot? Who's he gonna shoot? Oh, oh fuck. Stop making, stop making. Woo! Wait, wait, up. Okay. Um. Door! Okay. Oh, 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 it will be done. Oh, I, I thought that was you, but I thought that was you. Well, Ooh, nice, then. Okay. What? Did I risk my turn? Uh oh. Faith without deeds is worthless. Wait, Blaine goes after him, right? Blaine goes after him. Blaine goes after him. Oh. Yeah. On it. 921. Yeah. Easy. You know, always keep my. I guess I did that. Let's loot first. Uh, Cause I have missed. No, just less than thirty-five. <laughs> Got kind of a bunch of last. But I don't think we're in. Last right. Oh my god, bro! What? Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Don't just less than 30. No! Or don't just 30. Listen to me! I love my love. By the way, I also get some ally an extra turn, fully PMP. Your next turn, there is no attack limit. No attack limit! Holy shit! Is the. Uh. Special ability? Or. Oh, that's. A heroic act, I think. I ain't lying. Oh, okay, these are talents. Yeah, we can also go to Squeeze with 3. Yours all. Mars and now. I wouldn't really get used to Heroic Act a lot, so. I realize you. Ability of an ally. Bonus perception. Plus 6 going to fellowship bonus. Bonus is stacked. After they stacks, must the end of target's turn. I think it was something. I really hope such an ally has ability first time around. Plus, we'll probably bonus temporary wound. Like, plus. Five Wait. HP. Remember, officer targets an ally at action. Only dissolve is increased by one. Okay. Let's make sure we dissolve it. Is that the stuff? Oh, how long is it? Mentor okay. gain. Our ally turns turn, chasing down. There. Yeah, let's be done. I like this additional point. Gonna have my hey, but, uh, hey, it's not looking good to me. It's not looking <clears throat> good. Hmm. Target to bring it down. Gains <laughs> plus one AP. Oh my god. He's 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 AP. Zero. What? I don't like that. That's a bonus granted by a voice. And main to the end of combat. 
This bonus is not stacked and so forth. Bonus is granted by voice command. Just kind of an officer ability effect first to Yeah, this. Whenever your heroic attacks used by the enemy, the fucking plan. Every officer makes attacks gain plus 5 fellowship to the end of combat. Yeah. Wow. Pretty good. Every officer uses an officer architect ability two times in one turn. It's not granted an extra turn. In stand witness. In stand witness effect. Next officer architect ability does not grant turn. Never ally is affected by an officer's ability or talent or gets such a wounds. Armors get such a percent one round. Be vigilant. Yeah. Allies under the effect of officers' abilities get bonus their weapon skill. B plus officers. Uh Phyllis bonus seven. Still plus four more damage. Next opportunity. Or not. Where's Where's just my soccer stuff? And then when I use it for the weapon. Number psycho uses damaging second power targets that are six cells or further. What? There's no plus six. So the six field bonus damage? Uh not easy. Psycho's psychic power is a range of two cells or more of range increased by plus perception bonus. First psychic power used each turn increases bell duration. Two points less. This talent produces effect and bell duration plus increased by one. I can use damaging psychic powers being threatened. I'm not really worried about that. While psychic is not in target's line of sight, psychic is in cover. That's target's not bad. Shock. Every time psychic deals mental damage, any source other than shock, target suffers half as much mental damage at the end of his next turn. Not bad. Any of taking damage from psychic at least once for minus 20 penalty hours. Yes. Oh, this is good. Enemies that failed over hours and against any of the targets are suffer additional. 3 plus 3 times psi rating. Mental damage. Every time, mental damage. <laughs> if you do Mind Seed for Stabs Shock, that's... Oh man, that's good not damage. Anytime any enemy becomes target hook of any figure's like your ability, first time, they suffer the minus 5 penalty of intelligence perception. Attacker's intelligence perception increased by 2 to the end of combat. Get uh, real quick. Attacker kills an enemy with psychic like power dealing more damage, wounds target, his damage or deal we dealt. Enemy closest to the target. Enemies become targets like a second power is getting a second in a combat. Hmm, we didn't even have to hit. Assuming it's written, like as written, right? Stacking minus five percent penalty dodge parry. That's not the hit. There is six use second power. Is getting second by five all characteristics. That's so crazy, man. And he's got the fifty blinded stun mobilized prone hey, to the I think we go for for now is uh... what? Wait, wait, I didn't know we had that, but what? I didn't know we had that. It's like more precious like powers are like good to little seconds. That's like a serious warp. Healing low, please. Some of the attack. Wait, they're like very much in fiber. I think that's work. Mess, yeah, that's border character supposed to be hit. Yes, or damage. Using a non damaging ability and ally grass ability to pre crawl any bit of attack. Very. Yes, all around. Like the force that's like a very adaptive. That's a flesh wound. Border character's form is a chance for no. All of warring characters more than 50% wounds, all characters of all creatures. Can use increase radius increased by 10%. Enhance. Okay. All of warring characters less than percent. Increased by 10 Okay. Anytime ability or talent uses the village bonus, warring character can instead use the intelligence oh. bonus. It's higher. Reducing warring characters always upgrade intelligence, even the archetypes aren't allowed. Okay. Heavy armor efficiency. You're saying it's a 45, I see. Hmm. Wait, is that dueling mastery here? 50% bonus parry. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 
assault or weapon proficiency. Hmm. Weapon expert. Oh, plus four to max damage. Any surfers minus 20% penalty damage against the last one's death. Wow, that's crazy. That'd be 50 already. Yeah, okay, that's just training. Grenadier. Soldier's first grenade use in combat last man AP. That counter attack limit that turn. Excels are further. Lightning Barrage would be good, right? You're guaranteeing poor damage. This means like one, right? Guaranteeing poor damage. It's kind of like uh, using <laughs> the Warlock's uh, buff, right? Alright, well let's go with a warp feature. We're gonna go with um Not worry about it. Go with. Oh. Right, we're gonna go with dot build, aftershock, into mind see. Power resistance. Powers. Oh, y'all dead. I guess seven. I guess seven. I guess seven. Oh. We'll go with that. Actually, no, we'll go with the second bra. Okay. As a warrior, he gets plenty of options. He's got 30, 40 strength. Better slaughter. Next game, plus one second. Can't come in. Third of the turn. Wound free stack. I see the warrior's toughness bonus. Red thick skin. One damage reflection. Very chance to increase by 25%. Warrior's total armor. Hmm. When his damage reflection gets the first thing we have need this combo. Here the warrior is hit while under the endure effect. The damage reflects increased by one to the warrior's next turn. Uh, defensive stance. Warrior is not attacked this turn, they gain armor. Larger slash from Apex's opponent. Using with by half. Yeah. Uh, level. Do not falter. All allies affected by priest attack. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Awesome clouds. Navy officer use any range weapon bending. Then there is not any prone. All expected by bracelet impact in an extra turn with zero AP and three move points increase the cover efficiency from step one round. Um Zero characters infected by an ally's non-damaging ability affects ally vision ability, helps increase by affects an ally with such ability, will increase. 140% wounds per no. No the character in the current party is the same archetype as the character. Increase use of any abilities archetype. Pre world archetypes are both characters gain plus time secure chance plus time armor against Xenos to modern creature. All allies soon in Xenos, current party plus powers. Hmm. Hey, don't worry about it. I was testing characters. I was testing characters. Every war, enemy attacks a warrior. the next one? I was testing characters. 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 I was testing
Dodge. Parry. Attack priority was killed with a character will return to both dodge and parry attack. Alright. Attackers whoops skill character scores. Alright, chance to attack. Parry. Press up right Higher the attacker's possession, build your heart is easy to just from dot. Damage target sorry the attempt to dot. Enemies chasing it. Turn. Infidels. Um diamond speed. No, oh, we're using a single shot attack or melee attack against target. Warrior gains plus five plus two times toughness armor. Gets attacks made with the target. Punch teeth. Warrior gets. No. Warrior parries an attack. Next warrior. Yep. Air attacks the only additional one plus half strength. Bonus by the way. Each enemy in the area effect. Who? Takes my defense advance. <laughs> push increased damage when these attacks made against him. Yeah, I think for now we'll just go with uh big skin. The plus one damage deflections are really, really nice. Yeah. Daring yeah. Breach. Yeah. Immediately total all AP and MP yeah. gains plus security bonus. Yeah. <laughs> gains plus three movement points. Uh they don't lose PF form attacks. Warrior is no ultimate. Melee attacks this turn. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> okay, operative. I'm not too worried yeah. about being an operative, but. <laughs> I guess we could go with the Psyker, right? Damage Psyker. I could use a Veneration of Psyker Power and Ally without a natural luck effect. Hey, I'll get some natural luck. Unless there was a critical hit, there's no hit. Hmm. Guys, that's what dodge and a prey by Psyker and their allies. That's like this. Wait for these ones that can power, can you just not arm? Edge of any of every combat, play abilities, allies give us a great chance. No targets. Drive game. Driving power. Every power is a warp, uses momentum. Price. Plus, Psyker's warp. Cool power bonus. Let's resolve plus time. Okay. Now I'm going to repair the warp first time each turn. Advice and guide. Press on combat and ally becomes target. Target is the card. Yeah. Ally gains plus 10. <laughs> yeah. and skill and plus to the end of combat. Accurate second powers have range 2 cells or more. Our use each turn increases battle gauge. We're going to stabilizing factor. She's going to have. Uh, she should be using a lot of sick power. Yeah. Yeah. Argenta as a soldier. Oh. Origin archetype. Litany of purification. All enemies in the area affect for him. Furious idol. For him, Furious. He sacks and oh, yeah. he's Cody can plus two sacks. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. not bad. You need hatred. Cody and their allies are in fact warm, furious battle. Okay, gain. Yeah, there's also act. Cody gains plus four times willpower bonus, so 12% armor. Next team is a warp damage. The Emperor protects. Oh, gains a four three percent chance to ignore an enemy attack. <laughs> Mainly playing melt attacks. Enemies. Archetype. After reload, healing costs minus two AP less. And one. Here's going to comment. Not cause AP. <coughs> Soldier damage to different enemies. Oh, W man. <coughs> Soldier gains. Uh, and plus two times bonus. Bonus so. 18% more damage. Get the combat. Each is just an ally, soldier deals. Bonus more damage. 
<clears throat> Soldier gains 8% critical chance. This bonus doubled against enemies from which soldier. Oh, it's not the game, it's not the game, it's not the game. Whenever a soldier deals damage, crit damage, bombs, I think. Cover fish by 10%. Full cover, 10% after. Yeah! <laughs> All soldiers' air attacks gain armor pad. A full wound soldier has. Yeah, uh, it's not. Enemies damage on the soldiers' air attacks after damage from this. No soldier says we dodge to use cover against enemy attacks. Guaranteed critical hit against any. Woo! Well, the plus. First hit, each first attack gives additional damage equal to 1% current rate of fire. I mean, that sounds pretty good for me. Go to second attack action and turn deals mm, more damage to enemies that have not suffered damage. Well, soldier has full cover against enemy. Soldier gains 10% damage against enemy. Enemy attacks deal 2 less damage against soldier. Cover recovers the present moment. Rebel Slaughter can be used to kill instead of 3. Woo! What should you wear right now? Wear medium armor? Oh, so it's... Yes. Now let me go with Goofy. Let me go with Goofy. Start the game! 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 I'll go with the second skin. Now reduce dodge. Oh my god. What's your dog voice? Oh. <laughs> Eat that. I have a, a different perspective. I wish a bridge. <laughs> Good. We're gonna try and finish this, uh, finish this <laughs> before we call it the next. Opens the eye. The second sacrifice draws its gaze. Little Thrad, who is clutching a bleeding wound on his chest, gives you a tormented look. Hope's arrived. Too late to change the tide, I'm afraid. There's any honor in you. At least our dignity and give our lives for the rogue traitor. Uh. Theodora von Alansius is dead. I found her in the Archmilitant in her study. Got him for service. The rogue traitor is dead. The ship has lost her lord captain and the house its head. Little Thread shudders and grabs his shoulder. As you watch, the sleeve of his jacket bursts open. Two bone growths pierce through the fabric. No matter what ritual Kunrad is forming there, the warp is too strong. I cannot withstand it. My body changing with every second, the warp ringing in the air. This is the end. We will perish in the warp, along with the warrant and all Dynasty's heirs. Any humanities cry out. Idira looks anxiously at Little Thread. I do not see you. I've seen it before. We'd better get away from him. The changes are already accelerating. I read you very thoughtful yielding. Only by resigning to your fate will you truly suffer defeat. You know the warp was present first. Only by resigning to your fate will you truly suffer defeat. Words of royalty the ever right thumb. Seems that a lot of you was related to William. The navigator is ready to take the ship out of warp. He gets some help from the bridge. You know that stares at you. Eyes hard and forward resolve us more. And we have no right to bow our heads. Is that? I don't know who I'm looking at or like who it's supposed to be for, but is that for uh, Nurg Nurgle? You see Kunrad and Voigtvir clear in the gloom of the bridge. The broken blade he is holding is stained with dark drops, seem to have less than glimmer to them. We are out of time. Edelard bites his knuckles, just really thinking. You see a wave ripple across the whites of Edelard's eyes. The green has turned sickly yellow. The party. Brother, you ready your weapons. We die this day. Let us die with honor. honor. No frick. They're all together to allow the flame of the dynasty perish in the dark. No. Not be like this. Uh, Not so. today. Peter that lowers his head. Sighs and locks eyes with you. His gaze cold, haughty, and fanatical. This will not be completed. 
I'll take care of it. And you, see to it that the boy should break free from the war. I'll draw a room. And farewell. A cursed traitor. A time will come when you will bleed for her ladyship Theodora's murder. Remember my words, for they are the vow of he who marked it toward his death. What? Theodora is dead? Poetry stares at you in seemingly a genuine bewilderment. No, that can't be. Not now. I still haven't. Your ritual won't be finished, heretic! <laughs> yeah, we got a uh, chaos spawn here. Closed ranks. I'll bleed you dry. Defeat the warp creature. Use the unique ability called Heroic Axe to transfer measures. Momentum is required. Depending on the actions of your party, comment. Momentum bar will increase or decrease. Momentum value allows the character to use a heroic act. A low value grants access to set of measures. Both ways completely change the course of battle. Your final can either use one or the other. Only once in single combat. Let's save her. We got any various abilities features. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Boom! Bro, what am I pulling out for? Hey, man. Hmm. Do we buff? Bro, it's supposed to pull Nate. Where do we go with? The deer, go for the kill. Seven, sixteen, ten, ten. We'll try it. Damn, that was unfortunate. Uh, I'll immediately place one exploit on all enemies in combat and makes free attack against the target. Attack always hits. Clean in combat the target. No. I'm not so sure. Okay, I'll be in with you. Ally, an extra attack full of you and expect there's no attack with it. Okay, we'll use it first, the chaos spawn. Never mind the chaos. Eh, fuck, we'll use it first, the chaos spawn. Avalard, go! Oh, I think we just walk up and melee. Not the best chance of them. At your beck and call. I will do like you say. I'd rather not. Holy. Oh. I've suffered worse. Yeah. Don't like that going. Exploits. Target exploit stack. Tag deals. Different bonus. 
Anyone else can never reach the target. Devouring everything. Hmm. You know, send your allies to this dude. Each archetype taken by the Navy officer. Indeed. 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 This is how we utilize all of our action points here. <laughs> Heroic act. Victory is the If I could just kill the other, like all the other enemies, I would have been faster, easier, but uh, you know, here we are. Running gun. That is not the Emperor's will. Wait, can I burst fire? Doubt is for the weak. Oh, I can't. Damn, really? Oh, there's no limit to attacks. Someone else can do this. It will be done. <laughs> Avalish, we need some healing soon. I can only use it once, so we gotta make do with it. What is hero? For our mastery, putting his ability to make a number of extra attacks equal to the weapon's fire rate, minimum two. His weapon attack normally attacks. These attacks do not spend any So the turn, first attack is each new enemy. Uh, like, he has a current weapon. <laughs> Look how many items I. What's our fire rate? <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I got a high score. So, what is it? I'm gonna use Horgas as combat. Using. I can normally pass these. Oh, Woo. 
I'll do it. Faith without deeds is worthless. Damn. As the Emperor commands, I act. I Bro, he's just knocking me, bro. This is unacceptable. Oh, is that it? I only need to fire five shots. Uh, I guess we do four, yeah, because. Bro, if I was just not getting into right. the fucking thing. Go. If I was just not getting Oh, please don't run into it. <laughs> I am powerless to act. What? We stand here. Go like that. <laughs> Holy shit. Rending stream. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, keep hearing. I should have done that one. We'll do. I might have just uh, overlaid him, but uh, whatever. Oh. Let me do this real, real quick, just in case I fuck up. I feel like he would have an opportunity attack to a ranged weapon, just you know, right point blank. Uh. Officer. Yeah. Willpower. Where should we go willpower? Uh, Fellowship kind of is the uh, the main thing. Was me. Where should we go fellowship? He's coming down. Still with me combat. I got the second okay, weapon and the current weapon set. We can do the usual one type round. Make them number. Uh, it's 20. Go. Go for two more. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh, that's too many of them dead. Level 10, right? Oh, what? Anytime ability in that. Grab soul ability. Cause no EP with deal strike damage like you with 20%. What? Use that to put on triggers like now no perils of war. Yeah, I want that. Uh, pretty sure. One day we'll go to after talk. <laughs> For sure. Just attacking plus one wounds. I was like, I already have that, right? No, because somebody kept pushing me back. I don't know what I was
Endure. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how do you get my get back with the potion? Still turn all into damage from sec 5. We're against Bizarre Temporary Wound. But Nate just got carried, but I don't want to hear nothing. Living show. Oh. Hey, I'm playing this one. Thirty two, twenty eight. Wait, who you play that one? That one? I'm gonna hope this one's good, but I don't know. Hmm. Good. Or the shark. Or dots. <laughs> More dots. Oh my Our god. Center. Ballistics. Pretty sure. Does the damage stage of an enemy's soldier gain? Alright, what? I don't know about Ben, I got hope. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Y'all are actually so childish! Y'all are so childish! Sure, That's Y'all are actually childish! Y'all are actually childish! Y'all are actually childish! Can I give her two guns? Yeah, <laughs> so challenged. And I'm not worried about that. Yeah, that's what Where's the tool? That's doing mastery. We're we'll looking for <laughs> dual wield. <laughs> dual of them come here. We are. Second weapon there are. Current weapon set. Hmm. If we drop this. Oh my god, I have to go to town with like, like spraying oh things down. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, everybody. Mm -mm. Nah. We just see dodges as you start raising attack. In order to make that work, we definitely want to get a uh, Swiss Roundings up first. <laughs> Good. Blade Shark. That was a ball. Gloves and Endurance. For the word, these gloves get an injury or pause in conscious. Allies get plus one bonus of damage. Mantle Parasm. Parasm are kind of class power. Yeah. 
Let's work back to using battle. He's where his dodge. What the fuck was that? What is injured? Planter trap. Yeah, yeah. Look at my iconic class. Here's what I thought I was like, we should come. Patience. Oh, my nerves are frayed. Your seneschal is always there for you. Uh, Careful now. Mm. Oh, The healing is much appreciated. Okay, well, I'm with just Lou here. What lies beyond? Uh, Master Helmsman. He's dead. Oh, well, Master Helmsman. This must have support. By the Emperor, it is essential. Living and breathing. I heard man with sickly pale skin of salutes you. That was a tricky situation. Hopefully it's overgrown with foul wicked dream. We'll be scrubbing it off with the bit screens for throwing knows how long. He need to be established in contact with Navigator's Sanctum. There's our only chance of escaping from the warp. Here we're seeing the knock officers out of their stupor. In the air around you, fills of voices and commands being issued. You hear someone sobbing. One of the drivers bucking under the distress. Oh Avalar cuffs the crying officer without even looking. It's still the box channel with Navigator's Sanctum. Hey, Ready to the crew. Prepare for translation into the real space. And the pauses for a few seconds before turning you. Break. You're becoming superstitious. Translation's not a good time to disregard the rules. You're the only one who speaks for House von Valancius. You're gonna be the Lord Captain, but you, more than anyone else, deserve to take her place in the ritual that's about to commence. Direct your attention upward, so the throne assists the apex of the tall staircase. What must I do? Take the Lord Captain's seat. Order the final preparations. Wait for the officers to report. Ah, that's an officer to avoid. Translation's a craft. That's something to be explained in a tick. Go to the throne, Mrs. Joro. These people are about to do the impossible. The least they deserve is the solace of seeing a figure that can do their spot. Please hurry. Every second to waste is a terrible risk. I'm ready. Begin the ritual. Even before you use hazy, swaying in a sorcerous circurrence invisible to mortal eyes, as if whatever is beneath this thin shell is constantly changing while still remaining the same. They're taking on the guise of Theodora, but the false rogue trader's eyes reveal the entity's true, true real nature. One of Theodora's eyes is engulfed in otherworldly fire, the other, a vessel of ancient evil, pours into you. A voice seeps directly into your brain without ever reaching your ears, and this voice booms with all the horrors of the warp. Who are you to oppose the destiny itself, for the sake of lives that are not your own? So many threads stretch between you and other creatures of your world. Pitiful and worthless links ready to shatter at the slightest touch. A muddled, erratic, pointless angle. It resonates and merges with the voices that have already dug their foul roots into your consciousness. A moment later, you realize that all these voices are the myriad of manifestations of the same call that has finally made your mind. We all mean. Moon Red Woods Gear. Your head begins to spin and vicious drops slither down your cheeks. You blink. You're no longer looking at Theodora. That is the trait of voice fear. This is fluid and ephemeral as the previous apparition. The same terrifying voice seized from his lips. The aspirant vowed to return with the trophy, a relic that could serve the edge of daybreak. That fate was assured and the steps chosen. And yet, you broke the unbreakable when you took the aspirant's place. I see you on the day when the final dawn rises over the iron world. I see you by my side on that day. The day of my resurrection. <laughs> 
He was just scattered by invisible sources winds. You see it here. Her eyes are glow. The same finisher flame. You are images will win into the tapestry of things to come. I am the will of the weaver of destinies. Today, I will weave a new thread of elusive possibilities and fickle chances. The thread that would lead you to the mom of The thread that would help you find the keys to salvation. The thread that will guide you the weapon of our turn to me. Is this Zinch we're dealing with? Holy shit. A cavalcade of hazy glimpses of a future yet unknown passes before your eyes. The flash of crimson. Purple. Images are placed one another in violet kaleidoscope without ever letting you get a proper look at them. Through the rippling image, you see a twisted image of Avalard. Lord Seneschal, dancing. A path is set, child of the dawn. That is woven. Follow it, servant of mine. I think we are dealing with Saint here. The boy turns around and looks up at you. He has for a few moments, addresses Avalard, who is standing next to you. Seneschal, the navigator's sanctum is silent. The box signal is stable, which means the navigator gave his life. Battling the storm that nearly claimed upon Valencia's flagship. We will honor his memory along with that of all who died this day. Seneschal, will you tell us now? Who is that? Where is the Lord Captain? As first officer, it is my duty to inform what? you with the greatest regret and I can't change you know that Lord Captain Theodora von Valencius is dead. May her memory never fade. From the annals of the dynasty. By right of blood succession, and with the absence of other kin who could challenge this decision, it is hereby declared that the successor to Theodora von Valencius is her heir, the rightful inheritor of the warrant of trade, and the title of rogue trader. The official ascension ceremony will be held at a later time. In the interim, oh, have you lost your <laughs> tongues? Hail your lady. It is because of her toils that we all still live. The deed is done, mistress. Uh, my apologies. I meant to say, <laughs> Lord Captain. Looks like he's half a decade older. By the right of blood. Victory the Master. Oh, okay. The master of whispers was oh, fruitless, but victory came at a great cost. Lord Captain Theodora von Valencius perished along with her heir, Edelthrad, and thousands of crew members. I said, I'm lucky we're coming out Oh shit, I'm bad. I'm bad. Yet hope remained, for the second in line to the rogue trader dynasty survived. And through the strength of her resolve, Saved those who were counting on her for protection. What? All right. I got the odd. All right. And he made it. You are. Well, then, your ladyship. I can't help but notice that the Seneschal does not know how to talk to you or where to begin. His hesitation brings an involuntary smirk to your face. Though someone is almost entirely exploding at the old officer's confusion. Seeing your smile, Avalor pulls himself together. You must now hold your first officer's briefing in your new role as Lord Captain. For many of those who are about to join us on the bridge, this will also be their first briefing. We sustained massive losses among the senior and middle ranking officers. The posts have had to be filled by the deputy's deputy deputy, while others are unfulfilled, unfilled entirely. And now the tech clients are deciding who will take over the lead of the crews. <laughs> uh, we got to stop, man. How do you come to lose so many officers? It appears the heretics are deliberately targeting the vessel's command. They knew exactly whom they were looking for and where they would be found. Which is not surprising, given that their informant on board are their own master of whispers. Have you seen tracking down Voigtvir? Avalor grits his teeth. No, Lord Captain. In all the commotion, his trailer went cold. 
Our people are still on the hunt for him, and any mutineers who may still be skulking the ship's many corridors. But, frankly, I would not be surprised to hear that we are now one sort of short. We're afraid that it would be just some time before he answers for all he has brought. Uh, you misspoke, surely. I am the Lady Captain, am I not? There is a mistake, your ladyship. Lady Theodore before he was also Lord Captain. Now take your title literally. Think of it as a sacred rank that remains unchanging no matter who bears the warrant. You've been chosen by the Lady, by the Emperor, to carry the honorable burden of the rogue trader. I Gothic, unless its title originates, is a highly formal language, though a certain level of inflexibility is to be expected. I'm ready to start the briefing. Summon the officer. With a gesture, Ambler really is the order to the ad adjutants at the far end of the magnificent chamber. We found consumer wide grenade simulators, medkits, and other consumers can be placed in quick access slots. Doesn't pair of eyes or into special revealing of strength, joy, curiosity, and wearing. Attention, officer. You've been granted an honor. Lord Captain Precure von Valencius personally conduct the day's briefing. Oh my god. Our most gracious Lord Captain is ready to hear your reports. Uh. <laughs> Perhaps you can introduce these present, Noble Lord. As you wish, your ladyship. Ambler points to a tall, slender woman whose body seems to contain as many implants as there's flesh. Big Dissuriata with the Tolomon line, our new Vox Master. It is an honor to serve your ladyship. Aboard this vessel, you have at your command thousands of crew members and hundreds of officers and sex chiefs. I am responsible for receiving, processing, and sending all communications between you and them, as well as external sources. I am your eyes and mouth, Lord Captain. Master, we gotta have some ups and downs. And beside her is Raybor, be the Master Helmsman. He steers our ship along the course set by the Lord Captain and monitors Session. the void around us. To ensure we do not stray into an asteroid field or pirate trap. Bearded man with pale, almost transparent skin, large dark circles under his eyes, and a dour expression that seems hardwired into his face. This is all I'm not. Hail, Lord Captain. This here ship's as good as home to me, and so rest assured he's in their pants. I'll die before I let it come to any grief. And lastly, our high factotum generous Danrock oversees supplies, procurement, and the general material well being of the ship. Dressed in an embroidered jacket, a heavy set man with oiled hair offers an obsequious smile and bows. It is an honor, your lady. You may trust with me with all matters concerning your comfort. Everything will be done to the highest standard. In the second row, we have the three officers charged with overseeing the ship's vital function. The massive ordnance is responsible for the artillery aboard, the infernus master, whose crew worked to prevent extinguish worked to prevent and extinguish fires on the ship, and lastly the drives master, servant. Of the Omnisire. The officer's sleep. First master does so with confidence, while the massive ordinance portrays nervousness. The first master offers a salute resembling a dance, involving the complicated manipulation of all the tech priest's me mechanics. Is that everyone? Unfortunately, our choir master, the esteemed Zachary Weiss, head of the Astropath section, is unable to join us. He is in charge of communications with distant star systems. Master Weiss has been in a trance for some time now, attempting to contact other planets, the Von Valencia's Rector. Protectorate and inform them of Lady Theodore's passing and Kunrad Voigtvia's treachery. I will deliver a report to your ladyship on the Astropath's progress as soon as it is possible to do so. All of the present, all of the present are adjutants, secretaries, and deputies. They are here to make a record of proceeding. Uh. Confirm his master. Or, yes, Lord Captain. Calling the men bows his head and sprints. I report to all fires across all decks now and extinguished. Eliminated damage assessment, internal material losses and casualties as they completed. Results been submitted to Central Seneschal and High Factoto. Post passed to him after the previous Infernus Master and his next three deputies expired in the line of duty. I have a letter marked in a little pitch for his years only. The land is managing well so far. You can take the heat, so to speak. High Factoto, what have you reported? We are toiling day and night to compile a full account of the losses. The task will require next to no involvement from your leaders. I will personally ensure that all damage components are given to the tech priest's hands for attention that all are lost supplies are replaced. There's only one resource that I cannot replenish single handedly, and that is people. We've lost more than 2,000 crew members, and unfortunately, this number is not confined to the scum from the lower deck, which are easily replaced, but also include trained professionals. We will be able to make up our losses on the nearest planet, Rikad Minoris. However, the planet, the whole system, in fact, belongs to the winter scaled rogue trader dynasty. You cannot simply begin recruiting on a planet without first coming to an understanding with the governor. In that respect, I am powerless. Negotiations at this level are a matter for the rogue trader. 
especially true given Caligo's winter scales penchant for attack first and ask him questions later. The kind of thick skulled thugs he usually installs as governors on his planet. Razmaster, I'll hear from you now. The voice sorted by a box for strange translator emerges from out of the tech priest's scarlet hood. Lord Cap, the foes that set upon this noble voyage destroy the repositories of hundreds of machine spirits. The great warp energy entrusted into my charge is unharmed, thank the the fire. But its spirit mourns its dead brethren. We have not yet identified a prayer protocol capable of assuaging its sorrow and anger. With great sorrow, was also part of the engine seer prime, overseer, and spiritual authority of all tech priests on board, and in battle. The Magos was betrayed by the little flesh that remained part of a most terrible loss. There is no one among my comrades on board who experiences and comprehension of the sacred protocols equals that of the fallen Magos. We require a replacement as soon as possible. I see, thank you. Take Priest Bowser Head. Master Helmsman, deliver your status report. Right you are, Lord Cap. Got a long story short, out of is fleet. The ship's sound and more or less, but without our agency of Prime and Navigator, who fell in battle, we may have no way out of the system. If we try to set so much as a toe without the warp, I don't know what will happen for us. Our warp drive being torn to pieces, or all this melting into the bulkheads. Your ladyship, you allow me to jack. When we arrived in this system, my crew followed standard protocols and conducted a count of all the available communication channels in the region. One of them was a Navis Noblite station. The station maintains complete fog silence, but even its presence here inspires hope. To have located a navigator in the very same system is an incredible stroke of luck. A true blessing from the god emperor. A sharp bolt of pain, that's the goal, as if in response to what you just heard. You understand it is not the god emperor you should think such good fortune. The words of the demon that appeared before you during the translation of real speech stick in your mind. I am the we will of the weaver of destinies. But today, I will weave a new threat to elusive possibilities and fickle chances. Friend that will lead you out of the mall of irreversibility. Friend that will help you find the keys to salvation. If I were you, I'd grab this chance from both hands, or else you'll soon be eyeing up asteroids to use as your new residence. It's slightly less shitty news, and uh, we can go round and round the system until our hands are swimming, as long as we meet the immense surprise last. If any thick ass rocks shit low lives come stepping around, we'll be able to take them out. Don't you worry on that score. Mass of ordinance. Anything? Mass of ordinance gives you just a look. And uh, now, my job simple. Maintain the arsenal and power control. Just ask anyone. We got no evil crew. No Lord Cap. Mass of ordinance. You forget yourself. As Warden jokes back the words he was obviously about to blurt out without thinking. That's another look at you before long as I apologize for PC, Lord Captain. Pardon the fool. The ship is in ruins and every other officer is dead and the Lord Captain is no longer with us. You're taking hold of me. Oh, me. <laughs> For you. But I've heard of you, oh yes. Your fame has reached even as far as the expanse. I can't be showing myself up in front of a illustrious person such as yourself. He just uniform and stands ramrod straight. That's Warden is going to that the rest of the arsenal has been saved and the battery is in good order. Ready to fight? That is the Lord Captain's will. To summarize, we separate the same serious classes and crew members, our new Engineer Prime, and Navigate. Is this all that has been us from continuing the voyage? Precisely, Lord Captain. But bear in mind, this will not be the end of our trial. The ship's systems will be properly inspected for major damage. It will be carried out at Footfall Station. Oh, we're the only dockyard in the sector. We will never reach Footfall without first solving these three immediate problems. Um, what can you tell me about the system which we are currently finding ourselves? I see to the box master at this point. Mr. Charlemagne? We are in the right kind star system. Yeah, bad, our voyage here was undertaken on the orders of your ladyship's predecessor. There are three inhabited bodies in the system, and our attempts to send box messages have produced confounding results. The Navis Novelization has not simply not simply failed to answer, since we are maintaining total box silence. However, we did receive a distress signal from the prison planetoid in the system, and the right by Norris itself is also not responding to our hails. What is most alarming is that our augurs have intercepted signals from the surface seem to indicate ongoing hostility on the planet. The situation is not very encouraging, but without a navigator, a tech priest, and new crew members, we won't be able to travel anywhere. Therefore, we must go to the planet and the Navis Novelization and find out what in the void is going on. Hey bro, leave the game. Thank you all your reports. It's missed. Those no, officers sleep to you as one. Your leadership, there's one other thing. Confidential matter of the utmost importance. Lady Theodora, your eternally assisting predecessor, brought the ship here to this system for a reason. He was given a secret commission. 
You're perhaps are wondering who has the authority to commission rogue traders to do anything. I shall tell you. The Lord Inquisitor and the Emperor. Chief Architect as well in the current expanse. Uh, here across a strange companion letter on Theodore's desk. I'll sign XC. Referring to the contents of that note, I presume? Yes, quite okay, right. XC. Xavier Salazar. I did Theodore was to seek out the Lord Inquisitor's right hand man, one Heinrich van Kallax. Interrogator, you understand? All I know is that he is somewhere in this system. We must find him and offer him whatever assistance he requires, and then deliver him to Footfall in the Furibundus system. And even without any more information to go on, we did put indeed. But an Inquisitor is an important individual. The authorities in the system, either the Navis Noblite or the Governor of the Rakesses, Minors, may know something. That is all of it, your ladyship. You have a great deal of work ahead of you, and it is a mere taste of the daily burden of a road trader. So you mean you must take up the reins of the Von Valancis of Protectorate? Our Lord gives you another scrutinizing look, scrutinizing look I'm trying to gauge how long you'll hold out from this mountain of problems. They say something slightly, and it seems he is about to offer some words of encouragement. Here, Mr. Argenta, clean yourselves. This is about right grimly in stores here. The psyker is suffering some ailment, more dark madness. He insisted on seeing the road trader. I just have been unwise. Leave her unsupervised. For a few moments, this Archer's voice sounds hesitant. I was also hoping to approach you with a personal request, but it can wait. Do when you have time, Rogue Trader. The dearest glazed eyes roll over those assembled. One word burst from her lips. Daybreak. Hmm. Here, come to your senses. Habits. Here presses her fingers and puts in desperation. Your ladyship. Here's the thing. I was trying to see the immediate future, and it hit me so hard. My head is still spinning. Something very strange is heading our way. I, got it, I, got I can't it, I got make it. out what yeah. <laughs> hard I try. A single word is all I can make out. Daybreak. Or maybe it's done. It's ringing and ringing like an echo. Like a bell. <laughs> but if it's daybreak, then why is it so dark? Uh, we cannot extract any information from value from a single word. If there was anything else, Mr. Stelas. No. Oh. Not yet, anyway. The voices are going berserk, all shouting at once. I can't make any sense of it. Okay. As soon as I know or sense anything, I'll report it. All right, Lord Captain. You want me to take a closer look at your future? Find me on the bridge, and we can talk. Lady Theodora was well served by my whispers on any occasion. I'm sure he would benefit from it as well. The sucker's bite and the lips stretched into wires. There's nothing valuable. Else, nothing else valuable for it. I don't have to be concluded. Time to get to work. Wait a second. All right, let's save this. I'm stuck, bro. I'm stuck. I understand that. I believe Danrus Danrock can get you some. Uh, yeah, you would. What's that? Danrus Danrock can get you some. I don't think I can do enough damage to cook. Oh. Yeah. Does it cost anything? It does. Yeah, so much. <laughs> this guy either. Challenge for me. For the Emperor! The best defense, Imperial. Bro, Bo has Guardian Horn too, bro. This is not AP. This is not AP. Unleash the storm of micro cannons. Oh, that's literally. Oh, that's tank items. Tank item. What? You're roaring. Because he's a rather like two. He's like, kind of class. No characters by minus 10. <laughs>
for him. There's more uh, bonus momentum. Which enemy may lead into the race. But if he's there. Hmm. I tried to stun him again. I put it. Oh, the only other, yeah. Fuck, man. It did so much more damage. <laughs> Go back, back. We got our zealot. Yeah, it looks like it doesn't cause any damage. So if our buddies wanted to join us, we definitely could get him in. As well as I guess anyone else that wants to join us, right? But with that, we're going to end it there. All right. Oh, uh, we got three hours in. And we're also uh, just a running a bit later than usual, right? So, yeah, we had a good run so far. We're going to try and, you know, stream again tomorrow. It'll so probably start sooner than usual. So it's probably going to end sooner. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, our voice is uh, a bit tired after, you know, speaking so much. So we'll catch you guys. Thanks, we're going to get the short. Uh, you can get from the socials or... Minus these other viewers. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. PGA Wars happened. Uh, I got about half of them correct. So, I think it's pretty good. But uh, I'll catch you guys. Um, until then, Russell, be safe and peace.